Ian, we're we're like live something... now. Okay, okay, okay. Now. No, oh no worries. God. I was just like, holy shit. Hey, I'm not the only one that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's been so long, I forgot how to how to even. Okay, there we go. Get, get fucked, producer. Get fucked. All right. Let's see. Eight. What does that look like? Hand scroller. Check the audio here. Did you pick a feed yet, JPEG? No, I just chose ability score. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. Huh. I guess that's okay. Hmm. Why are you rolling 8d8, my guy? There's only one reason why a man would roll 8d8. <laughs> Methamphetamines. Oh, because if you're ass if you're looking at your hit points, it would be eight d six. No, nope, that is not what I'm doing. Oh shit! I was looking to see how much damage average I could probably do with blight. Zero. Definitely zero. Definitely zero. Wait, what's the spell called? Blight. Mm. I think you mean Skibbity. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I knew I'd get Blight. you with that. Yeah. No comment. And then to cast it, it's a vocal component. And you just say L's in the chat. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that one got me. That's pretty fun. <laughs> Could you imagine like a like a Gen Alpha mage? I definitely could. Yeah, I could. I babysat one. <laughs> <laughs> she was casting those skibbity spells all over the place. <laughs> she kept saying. She kept saying. <laughs> she kept saying. I said. She said this like three times, and it it was so funny. Uh, you ever heard the phrase "what the sigma"? Yes. <laughs> yes. My kids say that. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> you know, she's like, "What the sigma?" And I'm like, uh, "Wow." It's it's uh, funny every time I hear it though. But they don't. Are <clears throat> they don't do it as I, much. You know what I think? <laughs> honest to God, I I think Gen Z has better. Um, uh, like slang than uh, us millennials did, honestly. Oh, a hundred percent. But like, like, I, what, what was our slang like? Like fleek? Like, no, nah, that shit's fucking lame, dude. The bomb. Uh, yeah. Well, I don't know. We had lice, like full of lice. What? What? I never said that, bro. I've that was, never. Maybe that was just my high school specifically. Uh, I think that was just you, man. No, did you no, guys have a lice people. outbreak? <laughs> that's just what we call because well you know it wasn't like the richest high school it's kind of poor people so you know I make fun of people for having lice are you talking about yv sure. yeah what was there a bro i went to a poorer or... high school than you and we never had lice well i don't know what to tell you man <laughs> lice was a thing saying people were full of lice that was an insult damn i don't know if <clears throat> that's crazy <laughs> Oh, You're so dude. poor, even the poors don't understand you. Oh! Exactly. Alright, I still need an HP roll from Dale. Or, or no, you took the median, huh? Yep. Okay. Did I'm you, um, are you doing ASL or a feat? I'm doing a feat. Okay. Sorry. No, don't, don't be sorry. I gotta get that. Uh, feet, feet, feet. Yeah, there, uh, there you go. Thank you, Brandon. Thank you. I knew I can count on you. W recovery. W recovery. Um, so. God. <laughs> Brandon, is yeah. he a warlock? No. No, sorcerer. Okay. Z gets his powers from within now, not from without. Gotcha, interesting. 
Skibbity sorcerer. He pulls upon the thread of the weave. He does not beckon his patron to use his powers. The power of one. The power hey, of two. Hey, Shard Spark. What's the going on, buddy? <laughs> Happy Friday to you as well, my friend. Just in time. About to get this shit rolling. We got a hell of an episode coming up today. Dude. Yeah, I'm here for it. We finally get to go into this damn dungeon. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. So, Charge Spark, since you had the opportunity to, like, catch up, I want to know how that was for you, because, um... Uh-oh. Is it my internet? You sound good. Okay. I wonder what it looks like, because for us, you know, it's been, like, weeks at a time, but Phil passing out right before Zer's big moment. Oh, okay. They were catching up from last episode. That's dope. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. This is a good plot twist. Long combat. Um, you know, let me do. Well, I'm gonna do Warcaster, Matt. Oh, okay. All right. Chucky wants to hold on to those concentration spells. Like Warcaster really is so good. It's underrated. I don't think it's time. underrated at all. I'm pretty sure it's considered a top five feat. Yeah. Uh. I don't know. Whenever I was, uh, whenever I was a spellcaster, I never picked it up. I should have. But I never that's did. that's. I insane. literally picked it up as a spellcaster oh, like, this game. Yeah, warcasters, uh, very good. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. I'm, I'm happy, Chartsburg. We appreciate it. I love I love going back on those, too, and getting caught up during the week. Or just really trying to catch myself making mistakes, which happened a lot. Or being yeah, a dumbass. When, when we finished the first campaign, uh, Rhyme of the Lexicon, after we finished, I rewatched the entire series. And it gave me a lot of uh, perspective, uh, things I did right, things I wished that I had done differently, uh, funny moments, all the great role play. It, it was nice to rewatch the whole thing and have it all cataloged. What did you do? What, what are some things you think you did right? Brain in a jar. Um, oh, man. I think it would be easier to say the things I wish that had been different. Um, I wish that I had spent a little more time working in um, Dale and Brandon's backstory in, into the story itself. I think I've done a better job of that this campaign than I did last campaign. Mm. And there were just little bits and pieces Ooh. of some of the homebrew stuff that I did that um, I thought could have been better. I think Sorry. Warcaster, especially with my few of my newly learned buffs and stuff, would work best. Don't worry, though. We'll, we'll never let you live it down. Nope. Everybody get ready. Hell yeah. To rumble. Oh, that, oh, that's copyrighted. To rage. Wow. Thank you. One of y'all feed the cat treats, please. <sighs> Don't do it. That cat's a dick. 
No, oh, he's not a Hit dick. the button, Brandon. Hit the goddamn button. Hit the button. Hit the button. You're the worst uh, producer where, ever. Where's the intro? button there we go <laughs> hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of tomb of an eye lexicon i am your dungeon master as always bjorn with it and we are joined by the dead ringers most of them uh <laughs> most <laughs> some got most split into two it was a little weird uh we got joe uh with us playing as Agustin, a su servicio. And we got Brandon uh, joining us, playing as... Z. Z. The Changeling. Uh, and we got j Pack joining us, uh, playing as... What the Sigma? <laughs> Brody, everyone's favorite tiefling, uh, who was once a human. And uh, we got Dale joining us, playing as... <laughs> Howdy, y'all, it's me, Chucky Kentucky, Magical Ch Cowboy. Charles H. Kentucky. I think I change his middle initial every time I say it. Hey, what's up, Cole? How you doing, buddy? Oh. Um, last time on... Uh, Dragon this, Ball this fucking show. Oh, hey, sorry, I dropped my phone. I fucking unplugged it. God damn you. Okay, there we go. Uh, last time on Tomb of Annihil Lexicon, uh, you guys were in the middle of your epic battle with Roz Nasi. Um, the tides of battle were shifting, and, um, some of you were thinking about fleeing, when your allies finally arrived, Tinder swooped down, uh, dropped off a bunch of allies. Uh, Rosnesi's rock flew up into the air. T Tinder and the rock were fighting, scratching each other, blowing fire. Um, eventually, you guys were able to get the upper hand after Zur uh, killed, stepped, or like sat on Rootbeer, killed him, uh, transformed into two different people. Uh, we learned a whole bunch about Zur. Turned out all the kobolds were changelings. Uh, now Zur is Z. Uh, that's not confusing at all. Uh, Tinder got her wing ripped off. Uh, Rosnesi was eventually defeated. You guys, uh, you guys made camp. Uh, talked about uh, what you were gonna do. Brody was very upset that mm -hmm. uh, Zur was able to just shed off his former self and be magically a new person. Mm -hmm. uh, something that Brody has been wanting to do for a long time. <laughs> a lot of cool moments. And you guys decided uh, in the morning time that you were going to go investigate the palace of Roz Nassi. Yes. Roz Nasty. <laughs> Old Roz Nasty. Now that he's gone... I mean, what else could be in there? No, it's nothing as scary as him, of course. <laughs> and that is where we left off last time. All of the Dead Ringers and their allies uh, walking towards the ruined palace, uh, which, of course, used to be where the royals resided in Omu, but has since become Rosnesi and the Yuanti's lair. That is correct. 
Anything that you guys want to do uh, before you guys start um, investigating the palace? Uh, um, let's see. Do you think we should look around the rest of the city? I mean, Rock the Sea's gone. There's no real. I mean, well, I guess the death curse is the real rush. Is the rush. Uh, yeah, aren't we debating whether or not. Ready. Do we risk. Robert. Do we risk running into the King of Feathers? Oh yeah, we were worried about running into the King of Feathers. I think we determined that we just like defeated a necromancer. <laughs> uh, so I don't think the dinosaur should be too much of an issue. But <laughs> yeah, we basically killed like a demon knight thing. So I think that's way scarier than a dinosaur. I mean, it wasn't scared of a dinosaur. A little dino. Fix this bridge real quick. There we go. In fact, I can now turn us into a T-Rex and, like, just whoop his ass. That is true. We could go back to the Coliseum where I found, I detected a portal. Or... Yeah, you did detect a portal about a mile underneath the ground. That's a mile underneath the ground, though. <laughs> a yeah, long way to be... go. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe this palace leads to that portal underground. Maybe. If I know anything about these. Uh, if I know, if I remember from the tales about these necromancer knight guys from like the ancient stories, that they, they often have weird little contraptions that go down deep. Tiles is old as time. Yeah, you guys are still looking for the entrance into the tomb. You guys have not found that yet. Huh. Well, what's that uh what's that thing to the left of us on the map? Uh which thing specifically are you looking at? That right there? Just a that's building? The no, that's a stairway oh, into yes. the water. It's uh Correct. water's like all up in that mess. Yeah, so this whole area is flooded. That used to be a staircase that led down into the Undercity, um, like a level below the rest of the buildings, but all of that has since flooded. So that staircase leads to water. <laughs> hmm. Didn't we... Isn't there an entrance, though? I, I thought we found the entrance. I guess not. To the tomb? Yeah, uh, you guys have not. You guys have not found that. Well, what, we could um, just go to the Mega Dome and check it out. Yeah, but how many people are with us right now? Do we have? You guys have amassed us? quite a uh, quite a crew. Um, Tinder and Zendala are with you. Um, Hugh Hackenstone and a couple dwarves and a couple Grung are hanging out with you. Nice. Um, you guys have a little posse. Hmm. Well, would it help if I like surveyed the sky? I feel like it wouldn't. How are you I able mean, to survey the sky? By going up into the sky. You can still turn into a, a raven. Uh, no, I have the spell fly. What? You can literally just fly. We're closest to the palace. You, like, We're closest can, to the palace here, which we assume was Brasnasi was guarding something important, which is why we were he was defending it while we were pressing. Um, so we're assuming that something is here, but do we really want to take the entire group with us into the dungeon? Get split up. Uh, I was actually suggesting. That maybe Tinder go deal and encounter that King of Feathers and explore. Well, the rest of the Tinder's city. down a wing. She's down a wing, bro. Uh, out of character, powerful, she's down a wing. Right? I don't want to put her in a position where she's going to be more vulnerable. I mean, exactly. Wonder, Tinder could take on a T Rex still, like it's nothing. <laughs> Probably a fair point. That being so, uh, that's not something August would agree to, though. Oh, what if but, I know, go with Tinder? Because I can turn and, into a dinosaur as well. And plus, you know, I think it would be a good point to restore Tinder's pride with winning a combat or something, you know? 
are, are you are you for <laughs> are you for having like a private little conversation away from anyone else? Or are you saying yeah. that in front of everyone? <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> I'm hoping that we're not. Are you actually saying that? I'm not saying it in front of Tinder. Okay, okay, just making sure. No, actually, yeah, not, so we should probably address all this in character, but um, yeah. August yeah. is going to be constantly looking back at the group and looking at you guys, and he's going to be like, what is this? What is this building that's in this? Oh, yeah. There is much unexplored in this city. When we were first going... uh. Whenever we were first, whenever you did your first aerial sweep as a raven, you saw that there was a place a, that was surrounded by lava, and there was mm -hmm. like a tall building in the middle of all of it. Mm hmm. Yep. So, do we want to try and go here? You know what we could also do, y'all, is have Tinder and the crowd just stay here and defend the palace while we go explore the town. We still have defend to defend it from what? Tools. From whatever we don't know the hags, the um, actually, because uh, I was told me Rosnessy is just a puppet to something, so there's something more here, guys. Well, there's a giant campfire over here, so maybe we could head this way. What if we send the group back and just the you know, or people win. Well, you sure you don't want to have Tinder fight that T-Rex? You know, help restore her. What if we... As a I have an idea. What if we delegate and use the resources available to us and have everyone search the city and meet yeah, back? Yeah, that's a good idea. Because <sighs> then we can cover more ground. And we won't leave the circle of the wall, so most of us will be within reach of each other. And um, we don't have to worry about someone going off and getting eaten by a dinosaur while the rest of everybody else is safe. I'm Just a, a good way to, to get started by covering ground. Brody, what were you going to say? Kinda... Oh, I'm imagining I'm just I'm just gets his face. Look, <laughs> I, I... Go ahead, Brody. No, no, yeah, yeah, go ahead. No. I have been thinking uh, about something since last night. And um, I think it would be best to send the party back home. Not us. Uh, our support. And um, I think I will go with them. What? I'm going to reach out for Tender's arm. Yeah, you you uh, give the signal to Tender, and uh, she she walks over to join you four who were kind of uh, huddling. Since she has joined us and agreed to help us, she has been invaluable. And she paid a very steep price for this. I think it's only right that I go back with her and the rest of the group to not only spare them of any potential deaths, but also to repay her for sacrificing part of herself. I can rebuild an arm and we can try to find someone powerful enough, a cleric or someone powerful enough to cast the full restore spell. I've heard that these are legendary and I think it's better use of my time than continuing forth with you all. Now, out of out of game, I just want to let everyone know this does not mean you will be down a party member. Okay. Joe Joe is not asking to leave. August is August asking is. to leave. I just want to clarify that. No, I get that. Yeah, okay. Just making sure everyone's on the same page. Go ahead, oh, Brody. I, I know you're about to say something. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, so he's, you're going to... 
You're gonna bring us down to three because you want to go run off with your. Oh, let's be real. We all we all see it, right? We all see it. <laughs> we all, yeah, we, we all know it. what's going on. Okay, all right. You all see Tinder give a little bit of a blush, and she says, "Um, she says." Now we all know the position that we're in. Um, Portney and Zaru is the last bastion of society and humanity in the jungles of Chultz. Um, quite honestly, we've left it unprotected. Uh, yes, we have some allies there, but uh, Zindar and one merchant prince is not enough to control that city, especially with Zindar dying. Um, I fear that even if we are successful here, if we come back to Port Nianzaru in a couple months, um, it might not be the same place that we've left. It will not just be the three of you. Uh, Zindala, I'm sure, and even River Mist have pledged their alliance to us. I am sure they are willing to go the entire way. Well, what if I go back with them? How about no? <laughs> are we all just going to leave now? No. We are far too close to ending this curse. You know what? I Let's just... all go back to poor Dianzar. <laughs> yeah, why not? Let's all just go back. Let's all I go just... back. It's fine. I just think that maybe it's time for me to help out with the bigger picture. By going back. Or... Or if we all go back, we contribute to the bigger picture. Joe August. What? <laughs> Sorry. Port Nianzar was not undefended. It has the mighty Zindar defending its battle lines, along with many, many warriors defending the lines. Also, <sighs> you're just going to step back because you got your wounds licked? I say no. You're stronger than this. Just because you got knocked down, you're going to run away and abandon us when, just when the fight's about to get thick? I say no. You're not abandoning us. You're one of our strong members. You're my hand. And I'll show you. Come. We're gonna go kick that dinosaur's butt. Chucky, I... I admire... everything about you. And honestly, these past four months have been the best four months of my entire life. 42 years on this plane. I have done more and seen more than my 20 years of travel. I think stopping this short it, by dying in the inside of this dungeon or tomb to quell the death curse is <laughs> killing that legacy. So we should all stop then if we're all going to die out here? Yeah, you're, you're saying, so you're going to go back home so we all can die in the tomb. <laughs> I am that? merely <laughs> saying that one of us stays behind to continue the work on the other part of the island. And the rest Always. of us go home with you. All right, I'm down for it. I'll go home with you. Oh, time. I keep wanting to do detours and go and check in out all chill, but you've been telling me, no, we got to stop the death curse. We got to stop the death curse. Uh, we, you can't make a detour here. You can't make a detour here. What about Zindar? We got to stop the death curse. And just because we get you get your friend hurt, oh, I'm going to go back. What about the death curse? Who gives a hell? Who are you? I am someone who is thinking with his head and not with his heart. I think it's the other way no, around. You're thinking with your <laughs> heart. The whole reason you want to head back is your girlfriend got hurt. That's your heart. You see uh, Tinder look at you and she says, watch it. So, let me get this straight. If I am understanding. You are saying that her sacrifice wasn't any more than the sacrifices of uh, us? No. Her sacrifice is just dandy and fine. I'm trying to keep you to your word. You want to end this death curse. Yes, I do. <laughs> but oh. I... I cannot trust. I cannot trust. The dog has the, spoken. The sake of the island. There we go. Sorry. 
Hey, no, Beards okay. and Barbarians, thank you for the raid. Hello, hey, hello. Uh, we yes, just started okay. uh, episode 23 of our campaign. Welcome, everyone. I cannot well, risk the entire sake of our well-being and our future on a handful of people in Port Nianzaru when we had just spent the last three months trying not to get killed trying not to get swindled, and trying not to lose our own heads in that same port. If we do not have someone we can trust, we are no better here than we would be anywhere else. The death curse is just a part of the bigger picture. You have you guys... oh, that ahead. handled. Go ahead. Um, you guys see Tinder put uh, her one arm onto uh, August's shoulder, and she says... Um, this was my idea. Um, I'm going to return to Port Nianzaru regardless, but I know that the populace there um, does not trust me. I will be of little value by myself. It was my idea to ask August to come with me, um, and I bear that full responsibility. Well, I see. Well, you can't exactly fly back, so are you going to... It wow. will be a long <laughs> trek back on foot. Thank, thank you, Z, for reminding me um, that I have lost the ability to fly. <laughs> this gives me an idea. My friend, I don't mean to insult you any further, and you have served us well. And you make a fair point. But going by yourself is treacherous. Thereby, how about I give you a quest? Oh. Now perhaps you can go to the King of Feathers and convince them to go with you to Portney and Zaru and join them. You want me to ask a deranged, somehow conscious Tyrannosaurus Rex to come back to Portney and Zaru, a civilized port full of humans? Hey, if anybody could do it, it's my two, it's my hand and my other hand. Oh, wow. Is that supposed to be a joke about how I've lost one of my hands? Uh, no, I mean, I'm royalty, and, like, normally royalty has a hand, and I, you can be my other hand. You're my, I, my second most trusted advisor. Sorry, I forgot you lost your arm. Ugh. Jesus, what a fumble. <clears throat> but, I, think, I think that... Uh... <laughs> you should I think probably that title's go... going to your head a little bit, Chef. <laughs> <laughs> Tinder, you should probably great. go ahead. I will say the last of uh, the good boys. Uh, I'll go with you guys. I could go back to Portney and Zaru. You're gonna go too, Z? Yeah, Z, why not? You are needed here. Where th this isn't some fun trek back to Portney and Zaru. We, oh well, you f you fooled me. We are trusting you three and the rest of the allies to tackle the tomb and Omu. The, if, this is not a decision that we've taken city, lightly. If if going back to the city is more important than staying here and finishing out the death curse, then it is here? not Z. What we are trying to say is both are equally important. They are two halves of the same coin, but we cannot neglect one while in focusing on the other. We have to hit both at the same time. That's why you and I can stay in Port Nianzaro, and these two can stay here. That's half. Z, you just showed us your true self. I cannot imagine how the people will react without someone there to guide them through these changes. Which is I, what uh, we can I take do the shape of ahead Chuck of time. I take the shape of uh, Kentucky Chucky, and I go, No, no, no. They, they won't know it's me. No, you are forbidden from doing that. <laughs> yeah, Tinder says, that is probably not a wise idea. I will sue you for... <laughs> for slander. I will, I will take you to small claims court. <laughs> um, Tinder does say, though, she says, um, um, uh, there was one important thing that we want to do before we leave, though. I do want to investigate this palace. I think finding any information about what Rosnessy was doing here, uh, perhaps uh, there is some information to be gleamed inside of this palace. Um, that that is my foremost concern. I agree. Right. 
Let's go with this palace. August, is this farewell? No. It is not certainly a final goodbye. It is just, I will see you on the other side. After, then there wants to investigate this. So... Right. Wait. So when will I see you again? After we die when, in the tomb. That's right. When After you are finished. When you are finished with this quest. The only reason why I can trust you and leave you is because all three of you and our allies are most capable. You have done things that I could not have done. August. I got, can I take August aside real quick? I take him aside. I gotta be honest with you, man. I'm kind of scared to do this without you. This whole time I've been terrified. I mean, even when I was a Tyrannosaurus Rex, I was more terrified about Ron's and C fucking me up than actually hurting him. Chucky, do you remember the first day outside of Baldur's Gate when we all met? Yeah. Uh, water deep, but yeah. Uh, water. Sorry. Water deep. Do you remember? There were captain, or the captain was bullying Brody. He would not let him pass. Yeah. The Chucky that I respect and the Chucky that I know has always never hesitated to help anyone in need. You always jump first. You always do the right thing and jump in and whatever it is. I will always respect the Chucky that turned into the dinosaur before thinking about running. That is the Chucky that I will respect. That is the Chucky that you are. You are the Chucky that rushes to help. And this is no different. You have had this inside of you always. You did not need me or Brody or Zer or Z. You uh, rode right. the dinosaur across the finish line in the race. With you... your help? No. I did not ride that dinosaur for you. I did not what? expertly pilot it. I did no such thing. Just because you had help does not mean that you it was not your efforts that won the day. It was very much you. Nobody else could have driven the dinosaur. It was you that decided to take the responsibility of being a prince of the merchants. That is not an easy thing. That is not a small task. You won the hearts of the people. I could not do that. Brody could not do that. Zer could not do that. <laughs> That was you, Chucky. It was always you. You are the heart and the soul of the Dead Ringers. So it should be you that finishes the Death Gears. Is he still trying to convince people why it's okay for him to leave? And I'm then trying. you kiss. <laughs> well. All right, my friend. Well, what do you think about the whole getting the dinosaurs to team up with you and help import the Anzar? I think that is not our priority. Our priority is to see what origins this, this death curse has, and if no. we can use anything in this palace to fight the hugs. The King of Feathers leaving, will not help us. I thought you were leaving. Tinder wants to explore the palace first. Oh, okay. Then let's do it. Yeah, and as as you guys say that, you see Tinder and and the rest of the group start to uh, start to make their way towards uh, towards the palace. Oh, I do give August a kiss on the forehead. Aww. You, you do you sneak a little tongue in there though? His little his little boy in the forehead. <laughs> That's right. Put a little tongue in that. Wait. So. As you guys make your way into the palace, um, you know, the outside is crumbling, everything's in ruins. Um, as you guys make your way into the foyer, 
Um, you can see just, you know, the absolute destruction inside. Walls crumbling, vines and moss growing over, um, you know, growing over everything. Um, there's a bunch of glass on the ground, and you can see there there looks to have been once a giant uh, chandelier up on the ceiling that has since crashed, and, you know, glass all over the ground. And as you guys are walking through, um, you know, there's one grand hallway that keeps leading further back in. Um, and as you guys keep going, um, the inside of the palace, uh, the further in you get, isn't as ruined... Um, as the rest um you guys are passing rooms you can see that um there's definite signs of a bunch of you uh uh living here you know a bunch of makeshift uh straw beds uh there's also a lot of dried blood um there's like smears of dried blood along the ground uh some on the walls um and eventually you guys find yourself um coming to a uh, grand set of wooden doors. Uh, this appears to be, it's at the very end of the hallway, this appears to be what you would expect to be the throne room in the palace. Okay. Okay. Uh, you guys see Tinder walk up, and with her good arm, she just hits it, and the entire door just comes off of its hinges and slams onto the ground. <laughs> and this door is easily like you know 20 feet high and she just boom and it just fucking crashes down all that shit talking huh <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey what's up Matt in the chat <laughs> that comment was very hey, funny How's it going? Um, inside the throne room um, is worried about traps oh she is she does not seem to uh, be worried about that dang Wow. Um, inside the th the throne room, the first thing you see is a giant um, water feature, a big fountain. Um, this fountain is no longer um, spewing water; it is uh, spewing blood. Yeah, and this I, I is a you were gonna say. giant three tiered fountain, uh, ornately carved out of marble, and this thing is just dark red liquid just spraying and coming back down. Um, I the I, next thing I, you I notice, I literally lean over and I change to Chucky's face. I literally lean over like this and look at him and say, Ritualistic cannibalism, <laughs> ritualistic cannibalism <laughs> smells like it, too. Uh, <laughs> stinky. This can That's only be the work of ritualistic cannibalism. Ritualistic cannibalism. That's a callback. Um, the next thing you guys notice in the throne room is the giant throne made of skulls. And Brody, this yeah. looks familiar to you. This throne of skulls looks familiar to me. This is exactly what you saw if you recall, when you were freeing the Quetzalcoatl from the chains. Oh, shit. When you got uh. transported into that room where Roz Nassi was attacking you. Oh, fuck. Who else was in that room whenever Roz Nassi was there? In the um, vision? It was just Roz Nassi. He saw nobody else. Okay. I think he was mm. fiddling with the throne, though. When you were freeing the Axawattl? Yep. <laughs> Um, uh, you guys... I'm gonna look around for the chains. <laughs> yeah, um, Brody, you find, um, a bunch of chains that are seemingly holding nothing, but are secured to the floor. And there's yeah. about, there's about six sets of them, and one of them is cut. Bro, you should totally bond cutter the rest of them. Oh, bond cutter. Yeah, but what uh, if it's something bad that we can't see? What if it's Rosnesi the demigods? Is Rosa C is not holding anything bad down? Well, we know for a fact that one of them held the held a demigod of Ubtau, so the ghost to show. That's true. Oh, maybe it's the ghost of Sakashima. Uh, yeah. I mean, okay. So, huh. Are you gonna relay any of this to us? Yeah, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna. I'm gonna tell you guys. Like, 
This is the place I went to in that vision a while back when I, I probably freed the thing we had to fight. <laughs> uh, you are talking <laughs> about the temple in Mesro, no? The yep. temple that was just outside of Mesro? Yep, that's where I went. This is this is I was I was here, but I wasn't here. Does that make sense? But you yeah. cut that chain right there, yes? Yeah, that's the one I cut. If I may, I'm gonna hold the the natures of fury, and I'm actually gonna touch one of the chains. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, as you bend the uh, the katana, you know, down and touch one of the chains, you see these um, blue sparks shoot off of the chain as uh, the blade, you know, touches the surface. Okay. I've got an idea. Uh -huh. I am going to see if anything is in these chains. Don't we know that there's other spirits trapped as well? How, how would you do that? You might ask. Um, what? I'm going to I'm going to ethereal step and see if I can see anything in the ether plane. Oh, shit! Brody, you see in this, the set of chains that you cut previously before you, um, there is nothing there. But in the other five sets of chains, you see these half-flickering forms of other Coatzacoatls, kind of very docile, just kind of laying there with the chains wrapped around their bodies. Oh. Um... Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Hold on. Uh -huh. Do you see anything, Brody? You can't see me. <laughs> he, he just straight up ghosted. What? Uh, yeah, Brody's form kind of shimmers for a moment and then uh, disappears. He he spirited oh, away. And it wasn't, there wasn't, just so you guys know, it wasn't like a normal spell where like a hand wave or anything. It was just, he stepped and disappeared. Yep. All right. So um... Can I can, oh. can I ask the demon if I can cast another spell while I'm doing this? It yeah, doesn't cast yeah. a spell, so okay. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna cast uh, speak with animals. Okay, perfect. And uh, I'm gonna try to communicate with them. Uh, I'm gonna. What do I'm you want to say? Uh, I want to say. Uh, Hey guys, I'm back. I freed the other friend. Are you? What's up? <laughs> so their their forms are shimmering, and like even though you're in the ethereal plane, it's almost like they're they're barely there. Almost like a, a hologram of a hologram, you know. Mm. Um, and you hear a voice go, "You're not Rosnessy. Oh." Free us, strange person. Free us from these chains. Roz to see has imprisoned us here. We are okay. allies of Ubtau. Oh, is that is that is that true? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah I mean, is he, can, I, can, I, can I do a vibe check? On, I, I'm not sure. Yeah. God yeah, damn yeah. it, Brody! Uh, you can do an uh, inside check, uh, Brody. Uh, you're scaring I, all the hoes. Oh, That's a very oh. good inside check. Uh, yeah, I mean, Brody, these these Coatzacoatls seem identical to the one you freed in Mesro. Um, you have no reason to believe that that they're anything other than that. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I take out Bond Cutter and I uh, go to town. Yeah, yeah. It takes you a couple minutes, um, but you're able to cut the chains off of the five other Coatzacoatls and each one is like, Th thank you, kind stranger. And just, you know, you once you cut the chain, you see their forms completely disappear from the ethereal realm. Okay. Is he still uh, say, hey. it's happening? Yeah, Brody is gone. And a few moments later, you guys see the chains start to um, cut from their uh, places in the ground. One by one. Hey, okay, remember everybody I was with, and we're we're called the the Dead Ringers. If you 
I don't know. It might come in handy later. Who knows? I don't. I really don't know much about you guys, to be honest. <laughs> oh holy shit! That's so great. Hell yeah, dude. Well, while he's doing that, uh, I'm gonna ask Tinder. I'm gonna be like, uh, "What were you looking for?" So, um, I'll I'll finish describing the rest of the room. There's a couple more things. Um, you guys see behind the the throne of skulls, there is a um a very well well maintained and well kept uh big wooden desk. It has a bunch of papers uh, strewn around it. It has a lantern on it. Uh, this seems to look like Rosnessy was um, looking over papers and writing here. And on the left side of the wall, there are um, about four big wooden um, crosses, uh, all stained with dried blood, all of them empty except the one closest to the throne, which you guys see a person dangling there who hasn't made a noise the entire time, but they are bald have a blue tattoo on their head, and they're wearing red robes. Is that when the Fire Nation attacked? No, you and son they, of a bitch. And they are, they are hanging from the cross, just limply dangling. No no sign of life. As soon as I, like, the shock of seeing them, because I didn't, they weren't even in my peripheral, I'm gonna get my rifle and be like, oh! <laughs> You gonna shoot them? No, Mostly. I'm just gonna, like... Yelp, like a little girl. We should prepare to fight this guy. These red wizard guys, they're kind of... They're weird. They are weird. Uh, Brody, it's up to you. You can you can uh, pop back in, into existence at okay. this point. Uh, okay. Whoop. Uh, I come back. I'm a little sweaty. Hey, guys. Um, I freak <laughs> out. I pull my sword out on him. because of what, Hey, 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 what's going on? Oh, who is this guy? <laughs> Um, I'm gonna do one of those. Whoa! And then immediately throw a bookmark at this guy's chest. (laughs) At the red wizard? Is anyone gonna stop me? No, No, nobody's gonna stop you. In fact, when you throw bookmark, I'm gonna go ahead and let a shot loose. Yeah, I'm gonna pull up my gun and shoot at him too. <laughs> We're all oh freaking out. At we, the are, same time. <laughs> we are making a mistake. <laughs> Yo, dude, you just oh. appeared out of nowhere while we're scared, staring at the scary ass things. We all just so freaked you, out. You, you guys <laughs> see you guys see Bookmark just nail into this guy's chest. You you hear him go, oh, and then just boom, boom. <laughs> just a, a shot in the skull, <laughs> another shot in the chest, and he just goes, Ugh. And just dies on the cross. <laughs> oh, oh, oh shit! Oh, in uh, hindsight, that was probably a bad idea. Z Z looks at you and says, "I thought we left that with the other guy," as he refers to Zer. <laughs> er, er. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I do. oh, there was uh, that was a reaction. I'm so no, sorry. Same, same. It's okay. <sighs> I'm gonna situation. Oh. <laughs> teleport over to Bookmark and pull the knife out. I'm gonna see if he's still alive. He's not alive. From <laughs> oh, he <laughs> is. He was barely alive to begin with, and he is definitely dead. <laughs> and you guys see Zendala walk over and go, oh, "Well, I, I mean, I'm not upset to see another Red Wizard dead, but we we could have talked to him at least." But um, yeah, I was. I got all right. I, I got a little. I, you know, I had a little. I had a little reaction. I mean, I, I almost got killed like two, three, four times by these guys. It, just, it was a knee-jerk reaction, and I think I scared everybody. <laughs> ah, well, uh, a red wizard died, so I'm not upset. Okay. Zendala, you see how we work. We're bound to fuck up sometime. Uh, Damn, yes. he just says it. He just yes. says it. Well... I'm gonna go check out these papers then on his desk if yeah, they look, seem important. Like yeah, I mean there's there's me nothing know. there's nothing else in the throne room. Uh yeah, just besides the chains, the crosses, the blood fountain, and the desk, so 
Love Fountain. Very nice. <laughs> um, Brody, why don't you go ahead and make me an investigation check as you watch, uh, walk over I... to the desk and start uh, rifling through some papers. I will do this. Uh, 12's not bad. Um, you know, you start looking through some things. You, you find uh, mostly ledgers about um, uh, food stock, uh, prisoners, um, a list of all the active uh, yuan Ti in the city. Um, nothing of too importance as you're rifling through the papers. Ah, there. hold up. Let's stop at list of active yuan Ti in the city. Hello? Espionage? I mean, this city or what city? Uh, there are multiple cities named. Um, as Ooh. you go through the ledger, you see the city of Omu that had about uh, 20 yuan Ti in reserve. Um, you see a couple of um, uh, expedition forces that are out in the jungle. You see Portney and Zaru listed, and it has 10 yuan Ti listed and their names. Wow. And also okay. next to it is their... Uh, cover names, their their human names that they're uh, posing as, and you also see the city of Waterdeep listed as well that has five Yuan T in it. This all right. is the kind of information we need to take back with us. Oh yeah, so you just wanted to leave before? Uh... I mean, we could just sending stone that information over. Tinder will yeah, remind yeah. you all that she did not want to leave before uh, investigating the palace. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I'm just immediately going to sending stone those names over to Zindar. No, yeah. don't. Okay, well, it's um, fine. Tinder will also um, take a separate piece of paper and write uh, the names down on the list as well. Just I don't so know, Joe, when you said no, don't, I just imagined you going, no, don't. <laughs> oh, Brennan, your face is uh, frozen. Good. Fix your face, Good. bro. Fix your face. Just so that's my, that's my doesn't get stabbed in the butt or anything while he's... Like, um, he's Chucky, guard. you recognize one of these names. Ooh. You see the name... Um, fuck, what was his name? Shit. Um, it's fine. You recognize Convoy. the name of the, uh, general caretaker and the guy in charge of the, uh, dinosaur, uh, pens. Oh, in Zip. And Zaru. oh shit. Zip? Zip, yes. Thank you. Oh, you have a great memory. Oh, fucking Zip. You see Zip's name on the list of active yuan T in Portney and Zaru. Oh, oh, man. What a shame. The reason why I didn't want to sending stone it is because they're gonna Zendar is gonna do it in a, like a very official way, which will break to the other people that their cover has been blown. So I kind of wanted to go back with this information, hatch a plan to get them all at the same time. Oh yeah, that's fine. I mean, you you guys can tell that to Chucky before he uh, before he yeah, sending yeah. stones the information. That's true. I mean, so yeah, August is gonna yeah. convey that and just be like. We should probably catch a plan before sending this information. I don't want anyone to catch That's on to fair. it. I just, I, I, I'm acting out of fear again. I'm sorry. Um, all right. Well, we know there is. Wow, that's that's team. a handy piece of information we just found. It is very handy. <laughs> Anything uh, else? Can in I do castle? an investigation? Oh, yeah. I would like to do a search. Oh, Brody, where did your face go? Uh, right here, maybe. Hello. Did we lose JPEG's cam too? We well, lost cam his on. cam. Brandon, hey, it's Brandon. Well, Brody's gone. Oh, his chair's there. Uh, I'm. I'm uh, my camera is on. Uh, just refresh it for whatever reason. I refreshed mine and it ended up working. Uh, okay. No Which worries. is weird. Okay, it's weird that my chair is here, but I'm not. Um, I think you bent over, and that's yeah, what you... and, and it, it probably crashed. it probably froze there. Yeah. Um. 
Yeah, so that's the, that's some of the information on the desk. Uh, that was only a 12 investigation. You guys have not gone through all of the papers. Um, does anyone else want to see if they can find any other information? Sure, I'll yes, I would like to first cast a spell. Sure. Who else hasn't done any looking around? Every Everyone but Brody. Okay, well... Everyone hasn't done any what? I, uh, Looking around. Investigation. Nice roll, by the way. What did you want to do, Chucky? I'm going to cast Enhanced Ability on myself. To give myself the uh, owls. Uh, not the owls. The cats. Not the cat. The smart one. The intelligence one. It, it, that is the owl one, yeah, I think. No, well, that's wisdom. Oh, that's wisdom? Fox oh, is cunning. Yeah. Oh, Foxes there you go. A fox for intelligence. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's do that level two. So, man. I'll cast it on myself to give myself an advantage on this. All right. Go, go ahead and roll uh, investigation at advantage. All right. I'm going to give myself the pug's emphysema. <laughs> yes. Uh, JPEG, you find you, you find it suddenly very hard to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> investigation so z rolled a 20 13 okay um z you find um buried under uh all of the strewn papers across the uh desk a small journal and as you open it you find um that this was Rosnessy's personal journal, and it has uh, entries in it. Hmm. Um, and as you start leafing through, the middle portion is just all um, yeah, just, just his yeah, own, <laughs> just, just yeah, all yeah. his own personal thoughts on the Sorry. the food stores, the yuan tea, all that stuff. But what you find most important is the very first entry and the final entry in the journal, which I will give to you now. Um, and uh, if one of you guys wants to read this, uh, you can go ahead and do so. If anyone feels like reading it out loud. Um, I'll let hmm. someone else do that. Who wants to do it, Joe? Me? Uh, yeah, I got it. I got. It. Uh, I, I, I mean, you can do I it, can but do it. I figured it would be fun to have one of you guys. Uh, I mean, JPack, if you want to go ahead and take it away. All right. Ah, <clears throat> uh, give us your best, Ian McClellan. Oh, I was gonna do Markiplier. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, that works. Hello, everyone. It's Markiplier here. Since the day my memories have been a haze, a mix of confusing and inverted thoughts that almost seem to fight each other. One thing I know for certain, I fought and killed my brother. Or rather, we killed each other. I know not why he betrayed the jungle. The people, me? Those maidens saved me. The ones who warned me. Rin was raising an army of the undead. Now I'm the monster. <laughs> Grafted onto a disgusting Yuan Ti. But I still have purpose. My size and strength immediately made me the leader of these horrid creatures. Maybe at the least I can put them to a good use. I've been charged as I can't do the Markiplier voice. Anymore. No, I don't do the voice uh, anymore. <laughs> Uh, I've been charged to stay here and protect the maidens who have gone into Ubtau's old, who have gone into Ubtau's old since converted, since converted temple, yeah. old since converted temple. They've gone in, they've gone in to research how to stop this curse. They bring many locals who wear bronze masks carrying wood, stone, glass, and metal spikes. Hmm, bronze masks. Uh, poison-filled jars. I suppose they're really concerned about 
society. <laughs> uh, yep, there is blood all word. over this over this journal. Yeah. They gave safety, safety. I should know that word. Uh, they mm. gave me one of the three keys that opens the front entrance to the temple. Hmm. They gave that idiot dinosaur one, and the local grungs the other. I do not question their intellect. Their intellect. Uh, February thirtieth. Yep, so <laughs> yeah. This this is the most. This is then. This is the most recent journal entry. Um, you guys, you guys recognize this as uh, entried three days ago. She visits me almost every night, promising me my memories, offering me truth. All she asks for in return is information on the maidens, on the curse. She says a champion of hers will arrive soon and and ha soon hand delivering some interlopers. I need no help. When the champion comes, I will ooh caddy. I will rip her their heart. <laughs> out and offer it back to her i cannot Ooh. be brought i cannot be bought and my faith will not waver i really keep hope in the maidens hopefully they will stop this curse soon i sleep more than i wake and i feel my hold on the unt slipping they've been going on raids without my permission i execute the dissenters but i fear soon a day will come where i will not be able to lift my sword my resolve remains absolute bam there you go. Rosnacy's first and final journal entry. Wow. Whoa. It looks like that dinosaur has got a key. <laughs> I'm going to look at the grungalungs that are still with us. Yeah, hey, what's uh, going on? Did, uh, did your prince happen to have a key that he always wore? Root beer? No. Jeez. Oh, shit, is my camera frozen now? Yes. Yes, it is. Why did my camera freeze? I think it's I just know. going around. Um, You've got how do I how do I fix this? Just, do I just, just refresh, do I just refresh it? it? All right. Yeah. Let me do this real quick. Um, no, they say uh, no, but they know that um, their people used to uh, some of their people used to live in the city of Omu as uh, emissaries. So they think that um, there's probably still a contingent of Grung that live here. Oh. Okay. Well. I was thinking about... All right, the, I sent uh... my camera. Yep, it's back. Okay, cool. So now we know <laughs> the death curse. Even Ross and C doesn't know where the death curse is coming from. Uh, it no. seems so. It looks as if the first entry is actually in the reverse. He says that Rin created the army of the undead. He is misspoken. And he says that the maidens are trying to cure the people by bringing them in. He is misspoken again. These are more people to fuel the maidens or the hags' curse. Ooh. So... You're implying that his first entry is him being manipulated. Yes. But still, he doesn't know the cause of the death curse. He thinks this is going to stop the death No, the maidens have tricked him, or the hugs, have tricked him into thinking they are looking for the curse. But per the entry here, he is actually, they are making it worse. Can I offer you a curse in these trying times? <laughs> it's very funny. A curse is a curse. Um, right. Tinder looks at you all and she says, It's as I feared. Um, I didn't want to say anything before I had proof, but I had a feeling that outside forces were manipulating things in Port Nianzaru. Another good reason for me to head back, and unfortunately... I do ask of you all that I take August with me. I fear that I alone um, will not be trusted, nor will I be able to handle the subterfuge in Port Nianzaru, where I feel that, um, frankly, that that is August's uh, strong suit. I know that I am taking a body away from you when you all are going to go down into the tomb to try and stop the death curse, but... I do feel that this is paramount. 
And I yeah, he's, a, he's our buddy. I know. Uh, I know he is. <laughs> I, okay, I meant that. A little <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> but he's asleep, but all right. <laughs> we like to take turns with his body. Whoa. Hey, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, there's um there's nothing more uh there's no more papers to investigate, but Tinder looks up and says Well, wait a second. It says that Rosnasi has a key. We did not find a key on his dead body. It says right here that stupid dinosaur has one. I think I know which one he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think we all do. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but first, yeah. where is Roz Nassi's key? Oh. You think Roz uh, Nasty swallowed it before he uh, went into combat? I sure as fuck hope not, because Chucky uh, implanted him with a bunch of flowers and he's now in the ground. <laughs> Maybe he I'm left it somewhere around here. Uh, as a way to hide it from his uh, Juan T that he has no longer control of. Oh, it's it's definitely worth exploring. We should probably uh, look at every inch of this room and see if there's a key. I, I'm gonna see if I can find it on the dead wizard, the dead red wizard, the red dead, rede red the red dead, dead redemption two wizard. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, only the wizard, on PlayStation um, three. The wizard has no um, oh God. has what no possessions um, on him. That was me uh, searching the room. He's wearing undergarments and the red cloak, or, uh, you know, around him. But he has nothing. No coin purse. No spell book. Nothing on his person. Okay. Uh, I mean, I was. I figured it. That might be a good hiding place since he's like hung up on the wall. All of a sudden, the saw theme plays, and it's like you have to dig it out of his eyeball or whatever. I was really he does. about to make that joke just now. <laughs> I'll, also, I'll also investigate the room. Okay, yes, yeah, uh, Z, you in investigate the inside of your old uh, your own asshole. You find nothing. Uh, yeah, I figured. Nice still have uh, advantage. advantage. You do there. indeed. Um, Chucky, mm -hmm. you take a good look around, you know, you investigate the, the skull throne. Nothing there. You know, there's not a lot of places to hide anything. You've already pulled all the drawers out of the desk. There's nothing there. And Chucky, you have a moment where you think, ah, shit. The only place we haven't checked is in that Goddamn blood fountain. Ah, uh, oh. the blood fountain, of course. The I good old. Brody. Good old. Oh, what in the Stanley Kubrick is this? <laughs> what? What the Sigma? I'm not going to go in that skibbity blood <laughs> fountain. <laughs> that blood fountain's in Ohio. <laughs> Deals with blood magic and blood stuff. I figure you have no problem. I, I do. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Well,. You, you would be absolutely wrong. I got a problem with going to do blood fountain. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, Brody, you like other blood, don't you? <laughs> you're you're the blood guy. Come on. This is you're you. You're the blood guy. Yeah, Am I the blood guy? Bro, we've literally <laughs> seen you lacerate yourself just to create a bloody whip. Hey, that's different. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how dare you? That's different. <laughs> All right. Uh... I guess I'll take an L for for my uh, chat. Don't clip that. Scap, chat, don't clip that. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, Brody is going to look in the fucking blood fountain for the key. The fucker starts closing his eyes and humming. Um, I can't make it on my own. <laughs> Brody, do you want to take any of your clothing off? Or do you want to dip your clothing into the blood fountain? Oh, yeah, I'm going to get down to my... Uh, he should my... be naked. Hey, no, hang I'm on, not getting guys. naked. Hang, hang on, on before you do this, I look over August and I go, don't you have that magic staff that can mold earth or something like that yeah jess but i don't know if we can move what uh blood maybe water i'm just saying you, no can, you can make this fountain collapse and it'll empty out so he doesn't have to stick his hand in the uh oh so it'll just get all over our ankles instead 
mean, Chucky, I, I think what you mean to say is blood. to use the one to part the blood. Yeah, so I have to part the blood. Jeez. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna okay. attempt to do that with the rain stick of Mbala. Yeah. Uh, which mode are you using here? Well, the it blood is... mode, obviously. Yeah, yeah the blood so mode. Let's click click this into blood mode. Uh, where is the rain stick? Did He's it disappear from it... our handouts? Uh, oh, it's no, right it's it's, right it's in the magic yeah. item somewhere. Yeah. I got it. You know, <laughs> I'm gonna be like, yeah, you know, Chucky. Maybe you should use your boots. Uh... <laughs> oh yeah, fill the hydro boots up, uh, up with blood. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it is water. Oh, yeah. Can I do that? <laughs> You sh <laughs> you sure can, Chucky. You sure can. Instead of I've glowing blue, it glows blood fucking red. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. <laughs> uh, shape water. Um. Yeah, shape water. What's that? Like a five foot cube or something? Give me one second. Something Look, like it's that. A, it's a Mystery. cantrip. That's what I know. Uh, uh, yeah, you can change the flow of water, move water up to five feet. Oh, you can change the water's opacity. Yeah, make uh, the blood go. Oh, you can make the blood clearer. Yes, that's what I will do. Okay, all right, that works. Um, the blood begins to change color into a very opaque, uh, light pink color. And as you guys clamber up this fountain, you can see that in the very top tier nestled uh down underneath the blood where the uh you know fountain is spouting upward is resting a large key okay uh i uh plug my nose and grab the key absolutely yeah yeah as you pull this thing out it's a very large steel key with um the handle of it in the shape of a skull inviting very. I, I, yeah, okay, I got it. it uh, I assume the blood is now blood colored again. Yeah, after about a minute, it's going to go back to the well, regular blood. There's no color. reason why you can't press the digitate that off of you and clean yourself. I don't have press the digitation. Oh, I I'll do it. Somebody, somebody does. does. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'll do it. Uh, oh, Tinder also you. has that spell as well, so. Well, I, I will fill my boots with blood. No, oh, god. Yeah, man. Chucky, you you dang you sit on the edge of the fountain and dangle your feet in like a fucking kid at Waterworld or something, and uh, just yeah, just fill your boots up with blood. Right. That's disgusting. We're going against some crazy dinosaurs. I figure a boots full of blood might be useful for that. Yeah, boots full of blood might be useful. Okay. All right, well, let's clip uh, that for, sentence. For what? Hepatitis? What are we talking about here? Yeah. Maybe yeah. I'll give the dinosaur hepatitis. <laughs> blood filled boots. Uh, it could be the move. Oh. Uh, well, move. boys, we've done it. We've cracked D&D. <laughs> let's try using biological warfare. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, the G the Geneva Convention doesn't exist in D and D. That's true. Con <laughs> convention, more like suggestions. Uh, uh, anyway, right. um, that is it for the uh, throne room and the palace. Um, as you guys investigate the room further, oh, check out the other wait. rooms in the palace. Um, there is nothing more to find. Go ahead, Chucky. No loot. Um. There's there is loot, but it's very unuseful loot unless you guys want it. Uh, there's a lot of blood, which you've already harvested <laughs> some of. Um, there is a lot of chains um, in the UNT living quarters. There's very crude weapons, uh, bolas, very crude leather armor, um, but no no gold, no jewels, nothing like that. All right. Um... Yeah. Um, I'll take a few bolas. Yeah, can, yeah. Can, can the can I use a bola? Anybody can, Are, bro. Uh, it is a it is a martial weapon, so you would have to be proficient martially, which okay. the, the bard might be. They are not simple weapons. You'd have to train with them because they're very okay. precise. Um, I'll make. I'll have our grunga 
Our grungs have them. That I'll tell our grung friends about the bolas so they can use them. Uh, the bolas are as big as they are. Uh, they are not oh. able to, to wield those weapons. Snaps. What about the dwarves? I just... Uh, I the, think dwar about the dwarves can use them, yeah. I think about whatever you try to hand into the... <laughs> like, oh, we can, can play Angry one? Birds, but in real life. <laughs> yeah, the fucking handle of the bola is just as tall as the, the grung is. All right. Because. So August is leaving. Yeah, so you guys are outside the palace now. Um, Tinder is uh, packing up their stuff. She's saying goodbye to Zendala and um, the dwarves. Uh, Hugh is pacing around, kind of like, uh, you hear him huffing under his breath. He's like, yeah, finally this f fucking dragon leaving us. Yeah, we can finally get some work done, huh? <laughs> God. Yeah. Uh, you you want to go beat up some dinosaurs? Uh, before we go, <clears throat> so, just so I'm clear, uh, the Grungulang location, do we have that in the city of Omo? Oh no, we gotta check that out. What? You guys have not seen any grung. Well, no. We can ask our compatriots where the last known area is on the map. Uh, the um, they they yeah. say that they, uh, you know, it's it's been a long time. They say that they know that grung used to live here. Um, they would have no idea where they used to live. So. My friends, my parting wisdom, if you can call it that, as your strategist, would be to talk to the King of Feathers and ask him for the key or compel him in battle, whichever one happens first. Uh, and maybe try to ask him where the Grung are or where. And that's a good if... Idea. If that is not successful, you can always just track about the city to try to find leads for the grown. I mean, that's what uh, I think we were going to do just about that, I think. Yeah, yeah August, you fucking idiot. idiot. See, you didn't need me after all. Finish <laughs> <laughs> uh, well... team! Any uh -huh. any parting words for August, the gnome artificer who has been with the campaign yeah. since episode one? Yeah, I stab him in the heart and say, <laughs> "Get fucked, loser." Uh, um, Whisper in his ear. Yeah, uh, as he dies uh, slowly. Uh, you should never have left. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, you go first, Chucky. Um, August, you're, you're my best friend. Oh, <laughs> I can't believe you're leaving me, man. Just for a moment, it is not long. Six weeks later, <laughs> we, we're gun buddies. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, I take out I... one of my bullets and I, I give him one of my bullets. Okay. I'm actually going to give him the rain stick of Mbala and the mantle of the frog. Oh, damn. Well. Oh, okay. Uh, whoa. Jeez. Whoa. Whoa. You okay. will probably need these more than I do. Dude, how are you on health potions? <laughs> My friend, I can take care of myself in the jungle. I have Tinder. I have plenty of help. Yeah, you see, you see Tinder go, Hey, just because I can't fly doesn't mean I can't fuck shit up, all right? You know as well as I do... <laughs> we have been in this jungle for four months now. I am accustomed to its tricks. Kristoff, thank you for the sub. What's going on? Thanks. These will be very valuable to you. All right, my friend. I give him a big old hug. 
Safe no. travel, my friend. And I'll see you once this is all over. We'll you see still, you back in Portney and Zaru. You still Let's have save the world, your, buddy. You still have your sending stone, so if you ever need anything, I am still just a call away. All right. Wait till I'm he walks away for two words. minutes and then send the sending stone. <laughs> August, we need your help. <laughs> we can't decide whether we're going left or right. <laughs> All right. All right. Who does he go to next? Brody, Z, anything for August? Z? I got nothing. Z, you still have all your memories as Zur. You know, you still remember all the fond moments yep, you anything had. Anything to say um, to August as he as he With leaves. August, yeah. This might be the last no, time No, I tried to go him. back with them like eight times, but y'all... Yeah, they don't want so you to go back. So in this case, them. August will go to Z. You really want to... Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Listen, my friend, I still hope that you remember the times on the rooftop looking up out upon the city of Botni and Zaru. I still hope you remember the times of making the fireworks to create the destructions. You have I, to... I just look at him and just say, that was so long ago. Yes, but it is a part of who you are and who I am. When you but you say, said you're coming back. No, you are coming back. I am going there to take care of things. Yes, but you said you're coming back. In a sense, yes. So you're not Just coming back. For now, no. Okay, Z is so you're like coming a back. puppy. You're coming back, right? <laughs> <laughs> you will come back to the port to see me once you are done. I will be there waiting. So you're coming back. <laughs> All right. I... Well, that was it with Z. <laughs> <laughs> This is not uh, goodbye, then. No, it is not goodbye. And it never was. But off, I... Then. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Brody, you guys just uh, had a fist fight last night. Yeah, we did, but it was it was the whole thing. You wouldn't get it. <laughs> You're not sick. <laughs> You're not Sigma enough, okay? Oh, uh, it's true. <laughs> God, it's so true. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna go up to um, August and uh, I'm gonna say, well, I mean, we could really use your help here, but I understand you care about Portney and Zaru or something. <laughs> Do you know, uh, Brody? And I'm gonna wait before you go what? there. Uh, I'm gonna reach into my bag and uh, I'm gonna give you my one flask of holy water, which I never used. Oh, and, nice. And uh, I'm gonna say uh, this might help against the zombies or something. I never got the chance to use it, so you can have it. Thank you. Who knows? Thank you, my friend. You know, Brody, for all of the times that we have fought, you still keep secrets from us. And even though we have been there through some of your worst times, I feel like there is still much to be discussed. Maybe these are things that we can discuss when you return, in your own time. If we make it through this, do you know what? I'll tell you everything. I will say this. Even though we had settled everything in the fight, uh, I don't see you any different than you were before you were cursed to be a tiefling. I do not see the skin or the color or the curse. I see you. I see Brody as you are. That is who I trust. Not the outside. I trust the inside. 
Well, thank you. That means a lot to me. And, uh, well, maybe one day you'll get to see the, the me on the outside, too. Who knows? I would say that I would not worry about that, because if I can accept you for who you are, maybe the rest of the world can. You know, little man, you have such an optimistic view of the world in it, so that sometimes it's infectious, and I'm going to... I'm not going to end this on a bad note. <laughs> maybe next time, uh, one more thing. Um, maybe next time, don't drop your shoulder when you go for a hook. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. Uh, oh, uh, all right. Thanks. Uh, good tips. Uh, travel safe, okay? And... Uh, would have been great yeah, if you yeah. said like this and then just fuck. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm things. gonna, I'm gonna smirk as a tear comes down yeah, my eye yeah. after saying that. Yeah, I'll give you, I'll give you one of those forearm handshakes. Yeah, <laughs> dope. And with that, tender and August, uh, walk towards the cliffside. Do the montage. And... Of the good times montage. Oh yeah, this is where the montage plays of uh, of all of August's <laughs> moments. Yeah, absolutely. another turning fork. Look <laughs> <in> the road. <laughs> well, we'll meet back here in six more months. Uh, all right. August okay. is gone. Uh, the rest of the party. Um, the palace has been explored. You know that the last two keys reside with the dinosaur and with the grung. What would you like to do? The grungosaurs? <clears throat> well, uh, yeah, uh, I think we should. Well, we got a key. It's one of the three keys. Mm hmm. Yeah. One of three. Wait, wait, cool. wait. So did I read that as we need one or we need all three? We need all three. Need all three. Ah, oh, fuck. All right. We need one from the T-Rex and one from the Grung. Well, the Grung. Right. Okay. Why I didn't they all try and put their keys it. together to get down there in the first place? Oh, that, that's, a, that's a great question, Z. I keep on asking them. Really helping the situation. Uh... <laughs> I think we should go get the one from the crazy dinosaur man first. I agree. I agree. And I got a good old plan. for. It. Okay. What's your plan? Well, remember when we heard when Zer was first investigating, the T-Rex said he hated all non But Zer could turn into a dinosaur and he could talk to animals. You could talk to animals. And I, I can't turn you talk into to a animals dinosaur. anymore. Oh, what? I That's only okay. had that ability. All right, gentlemen, while I was I'll a, be right back. A wear lot. Right. Yeah, no worries. You could turn into August a dinosaur, goes... right? Yes, I can turn into a dinosaur. Oh, I, I've got a better plan. How about we just kill him? <laughs> <laughs> How about we just fucking kill him? <laughs> I mean, maybe he knows where the grungs are. Yeah, ask him where the grungs are, and then when he tells us, we kill him. <laughs> that's my plan. That, the, that, uh, that, yeah, that, that's a bright idea. I like that idea, Chucky. That's a good idea. I think we should do that. We need allies. This is a time where we need allies more. I think we need allies. We just sent them all home. Well, I mean, exact in that vein. Yeah. No, we so, still got we still got uh, um, River Mist and um, Zendala, right? Yep. Absolutely. Uh, I'm just saying, having some dinosaurs on our side could be beneficial as well. I, I mean, mean going up to but... them and telling them that you're the number one dinosaur riding champion probably won't go over well. Well, not if I. Well, we're wasting time right now. Let's just he start heading over there and we could discuss it on the way. That's what we'll that do. Sounds... We'll be, dis be right. discussing this on the way there. Uh, but. I'm thinking if one of us could actually talk to him as a dinosaur, we can convince them that, like, I could be riding you, and you could say, like, hey, this guy ain't so bad. I feel like Features. you riding the dinosaur is a bad image to start with. Then maybe it, not. It's then like... Just go there by himself and talk to him. 
We'll figure it out when we get there. Yeah. Uh, I, I think... It, okay, go ahead. No, no, you go ahead. I, I've already stopped. Well, I think we should just kill him. <laughs> uh, let's call that plan B because we'll always have that option okay well the second you mess up you're uh, convincing the crazy dinosaur xenophobe to be our friend and give us the key and tell us where the grungs are I will be shooting an arrow in its head wait if I turn to a dinosaur could I understand other dinosaurs yeah, yeah. So likewise for Z. So we yeah. could both turn to dinosaurs, and Brody could just speak dinosaur. And we could all just talk to him. I'm not wasting the spell on that. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, uh. That's between you and Brody, man. I got, I got no horse in that race. That's fine. That's fine. fine. Let's just make our way over there. Let's just make our way over there. You just sit there in the back, and I could whistle or something. For you to kill. How about you walk next to me so that it looks like we're walking equally? Which oh, direction yeah, we'll are we going? Be, we could be dinosaurs together, Zer. It's okay. Uh, I believe the way? arena is that way, yeah. We're going this oh, way up into the arena? Pointing. Through yeah. the water? Yeah, you guys know that the amphitheater is uh, up here in the top left corner. Mm -hmm. And the water isn't too... High it's here, it's right? not too deep. It's about waist deep. You know, it'll take you guys some time to get through it, but it's not um, you know, it's not impassable. We'll get something real quick. I'm curious. Okay. It is not okay. a concent Oh, it is a concentration. What Can is... you turn yourself into a dinosaur dale? With polymorphia. You have polymorph as a bard? Yeah. Nice. Okay got an idea <laughs> it's one of my magical secrets are we uh, heading there or, or no yeah we're still heading there um that's how i was able to turn to a t-rex in the first place what if we made you a flying t-rex oh i could be the true king of feathers just a thought what if oh, you show up flying it. in and just be like, I am the king of feathers. Oh, but I also, shit. The cool thing about if I turn myself into a T-Rex, I also have... Oh, wait, no. Warcaster doesn't work if I turn into a T-Rex because I'm a different... Um, Correct. Yeah, you can't cast spells when you're polymorphed. That's what I was saying, is that I it's a concentration for me, so I can't polymorph and then do Correct, the yeah. fly. You'd have to do it on someone else. Exactly. Uh, that's what I was saying. We could do them both on Brody. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, Brody wants to just straight up kill, but he doesn't want to negotiate at all. So, I, I mean, there's just no point, and I just, I just don't think, I don't see how we can convince a giant, th crazy dinosaur that hates not dinosaurs to. Do just acquiesce to our whim. I think what I mean, they're saying though is that if if you're a dinosaur, then then maybe exactly the conversation yeah. changes. And not just any dinosaur, a flying dinosaur that's pumped up on roids. <laughs> All and right, you don't need to cast any spells. What's, what's better than a flying dinosaur? <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to give you the opportunity to convince Brody that that's a good idea. Um, how about this? I, I look at Brody and say, what's the worst that could happen? You get a chance to talk some shit and then kill him, or you just get to kill him? I mean, and also, there's a good chance you could end up ruling these dinosaurs. <laughs> that's the best case scenario, dude. Confusing gamble. Um, can can I have these guys roll for it? <laughs> like, sure, yeah. Uh, uh, you you guys make some persuasion checks. Yeah. 
<clears throat> Too bad we don't have advantage on that. Nope, but there are two of you. <laughs> Jeez, what do I have to roll against? What was it? Uh, what you you would roll. You would roll your insight, uh, oh. Brody. Okay. Do I roll insight too? No, you. Oh, no, I have persuasion. persuasion. Never mind. Oh my god. Ooh. Jeez. Oh. Okay. Wow. Well, yeah, Brody, uh, you live. Yep. You live by the rolls. You die by the rolls. Yep. Yep. We're going with your. You know what? Fuck it. <laughs> I've never been a dinosaur before. <laughs> Fuck it. All right, we're going with the uh, we're going with Plan uh, Dino, King of Feathers, Plan D. All right, all right. And well, what you guys you head do out. Is you should show up with like two little tree branches in between like your little vestigial arms as you uh, fly around. <laughs> yeah, well, you already uh, you already pushing your luck. You're your... <laughs> you're you're losing us. Um. So you guys head out with River Mist and Zendala in tow. Um, uh, when do you guys want to transform Brody? Do you guys want to get like close first and then, I think and getting then transform him? Doesn't make sense because if they can see him, you know, if he comes off from a distance, it's easier to convince, I guess is a good way. I agree. Yeah, the I only agree. problem is it's it's just going to take you guys some time to catch up to him. Well... Not necessarily, because we could follow him underneath, uh, and he could just look like he's gliding around. So the only constraint that you guys are under is polymorph only lasts an hour. So you just have to make sure that all of this gets done in less than an hour. Hmm. So we would have to be closer. I think you'd probably want to be a little closer. Yeah, I mean, we could stealth. We could stealth up and listen for them. They're dinosaurs. Yeah, they we can, can't really we can give that a try. Uh, at this point, um, the afternoon is transcending into evening. Uh, the sun isn't going down yet, but it's just getting low in the sky. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we could camp out about uh, forty-five minutes away, maybe. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Um, You guys just... Uh, I'm sorry, you guys took a long rest and woke up in the morning. Um, yeah. My bad. Uh, it's mid-afternoon. The, the sun is high in the sky. My my apologies. Okay. <laughs> sorry, right. I forgot. Uh, I was trying to remember what time of fucking day it was. All right. Um, yeah, so we're, keep, we, we're just trucking. Rolling. Yeah, so you guys can easily traverse the waters. Takes you a little bit to get over to the other side. Um, Actually, my new ability fucking rocks. I I don't even need. I don't even struggle through that water. <laughs> yeah, no, Brody, you actually don't struggle at all. Uh, difficult difficult terrain does not um, impose Indeed. any difficulties on Hell you. Yeah. That's so non magical difficult terrain, but still, mm -hmm. that's pretty sick. Yeah, Brody is a ranger through and through. But yeah, I mean, you guys make it over to the other side. Um, it's up to you guys whenever you want to enact your plan. Um, if you guys want to get closer or do it here. Do we hear any dinosaurs in the distance? You do not. No dinos in the distance. Yeah, I saw them playing at Coachella last year. It was pretty good. <laughs> Let's see. Who has the rat? The rat? Oh, Brody, you have the rat. Huh? No, that's not you. That's some different guy. That's a hippie guy. I, 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 I think you may be thinking of somebody. About. You might be confused. I am, thinking of, I am thinking of someone else. I'm thinking of someone else with the rats. Um, a long time ago. <laughs> a long um, time ago. All right. That's it. So we doing well, this? You can you can make stealthy with your shadow cast thing, right? Uh, yeah, I, I can. So I'd say let's uh, just keep going until we see the dinos, and then you could surprise them by flying out and be like, "Woo!" -hoo! I, I don't oh, think I, I'm. Not, I don't think surprising them is going to be a good thing to do. They're T Rexes. 
they have never seen one of their own flow. And I think the best, I remember the stories in the mythology stories, how people get surprised by the awe of the gods. It's a whole grandiose thing. You, you, you don't think this dinosaur has ever seen flying dinosaurs before? Not a flying T-Rex. I'm going to be a flying T- What? Oh, you're going to be a T-Rex, buddy. I miss August. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, yeah, the plan the plan is to turn you into a T-Rex, Brody, and then Z's going to cast Fly on you, and then you're going to float over to the amphitheater where um, the King of Feathers is. That's why you're going to have to talk to him in Dinosaur. That, that's the whole plan. Yeah. And Are so you ready, Brody? Think... Yep. <laughs> you, you agreed to this. You were convinced thoroughly. Brody was convinced. He was convinced. I was convinced. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you guys go ahead and mark off a spell slot. Um, uh, Brody, you feel your you feel your bones break and your skin burst in this moment of agony as your cellular structure begins to change and all of a sudden you find yourself looking down at the party from 25 feet up um and you're in full t-rex mode you got your little vestigial arms you got your giant legs your big tail as you're looking down yep don't forget to mark off a uh spell slot oh i did and then Z, uh, once you cast Fly on Brody, Brody, you feel yourself begin to softly levitate above the ground. I cast and you fly. feel yourself gain the ability to push yourself up into the air in any direction that you need. Okay, I'm moving towards where we last saw the uh, King of Feathers. Absolutely. Oh, oh, oh. Brody. I it, it, the signal for when you want to attack is you go rawr, 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 rawr. <laughs> okay all right i might all miss right. that one too <laughs> perfect good signal well actually just spin around in the air spin around in the air okay i got you uh, i think God. that's the better signal is if you just spin in the air just spin around in the air. I think that's a good signal. All right, Brody. Well, you're a giant T-Rex now. Yes, I am. And I uh, you start floating over towards the amphitheater. Um, mm -hmm. And as you approach the amphitheater, you see the King of Feathers uh, lazily lounging uh, on the steps and you see him surrounded by his posse of uh, little raptors that are kind of running around. Jesus. You see that the raptors have um, have a uh, some kind of creature. It looks like maybe like the carcass of a uh, elephant or a rhino or something that they're all kind of picking at. And the king of feathers is just kind of lazily laying on the amphitheater steps and. You see him open his eyes as you crest over the rooftops, just floating, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, and he looks up at you, and you hear him say in his gravelly voice, he goes, uh, Oh, I've never seen a flying T-Rex before. Oh, yeah. This is, this is just something I... Uh... I just learned how to do, you know, back in the day, <laughs> people used to call me the King of Feathers, you know, it was kind of my thing. <laughs> he looks at you and goes, you, the King of Feathers. No, I'm the what? King of Feathers. Uh, oh, okay, so you can fly too? I mean, that's why they called me King of Feathers. I mean, can you fly too? I mean, we can hang out, let's chill. You see him immediate. You see him immediately get off of his um of his uh you know amphitheater steps, and he like stands up and he goes, 
Now listen here, boy. This ain't the first time <laughs> that I've had a T-Rex come and fight me for dominance. If you want to take over my city, you got to beat me first. Oh, take over your city? I mean, I'm I'm sorry if you had the same name. I mean, uh, <laughs> just that, 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 that seems like a coincidence. I mean, I don't know. I'm not trying to take over anything, man. It, I just, I'm just, I'm just looking for more flying dinosaurs like myself. <laughs> <laughs> he looks at you and goes, "Hey, uh, are you, are you right in the head? Are you okay, man?" I'm trying to ask you the same thing. I'm not, I'm not so sure anymore. <laughs> All right, I. I see, I see what this is. This is my city here, you false king, you prince, you, you prince of prunes. Why don't you, why don't you come on down and step into the ring and we'll see who the real king is. Oh, so the king can't step up and fly to me and, and, and show what a big man he is? You can't reach me right now? Is that... <laughs> Is that my problem, or is that your problem? <laughs> how far away are you, Brody? How uh, how close how close do you want to get to the King of Feathers? Uh, we're 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 in DBZ shouting distance. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> like how how high up in the air do you want to be? Oh, probably, probably like the T Rex is fucking huge, so probably You're like pretty big. Probably like a hundred feet in the air, maybe eighty. Okay. Um, you hear him say, uh, you hear him say, uh No, you know, I can't fly. Oh. Woe is woe is me, huh? Skill but... issue. Skill issue. Skill issue. <laughs> <laughs> but I am just the strongest damn dinosaur in this jungle. So if you want to fight, we'll fight. Just say the word, Prince I mean, of Prunes. <laughs> you ever had a prune? They're pretty good. I'm, I'm just saying. Ah, uh, they're pretty. I, I should have come up with something better. They're pretty good. <laughs> I don't. That just sounds like I'm a really good uh, farmers market guy. But, yeah, I mean, you uh, got to admit though, the King of Feathers is a pretty good name. I was like, nah. oh, you know, it's like the feathers of the King of. It's pretty good. No, I hated it. It was it was pretty lame. I was like, why call me the King of Feathers just because I can fly? Ah, okay. Well, you know, <laughs> I'd rather recall. You know, two, I wanted them to call opinions. me. I wanted me. I wanted them to call me Air Jordan, but you know, they didn't really. <laughs> they didn't oh really yeah, like that. I haven't heard that one before. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah. So, yeah, so you're uh, just gonna float up there in the sky and yell insults at me, or are we gonna decide who's the king of the fucking jungle? I think you're projecting. I'm not insulting you at all. I'm. I'm. I. All I said was that was my nickname. You took some. You felt some type of way about that. I'm. I'm. <laughs> oh, wow. This. This is entirely you, man. <laughs> you know what? You come into my city, <laughs> trying to give me a therapy session. I'm good, man. I got my city. I got my loyal subjects. I'll sit here until you come down and want to challenge me. Okay, I'm gonna start spinning around and uh, and okay. and say like, "Look what I can do." <laughs> he turns over to his raptors and he's like, "Can you believe this fucking guy? Can you believe this fucking guy? Just come down and fight me. We'll settle this." I'm spinning around. Do you guys see me? Oh yeah, I we're say gonna, that I'm out. Gonna going, we're gonna start <laughs> I say that out loud. I'm, I'm looking. Oh, I'm concentrating on a spell. I can't cast anything. Correct. So, um, oh, oh, oh man, kind of that dinosaur, would be. What kind of dinosaurs are surrounding the king? Hilarious. They're surrounding the king of Feathers. Uh, there's about half a dozen raptors. All right. Um. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and get behind the King of Feathers. 
and I want a blood rocket boot over him and cover him in blood. Oh my god. In an attempt to get the raptors to want to eat him. All right. Well, if, um, Jesus Christ. Uh, if you're gonna try, if you're gonna try and uh, sneak up on the uh, group, I'm gonna need you to make a stealth check. Jeez. What is Zer doing? Is Zer with me, or is he with me? I can I can go with you. I don't I don't see why not. I'm not as stealthy as I was when I was Zer. Because he gave us the signal to it that we're about to fight. So did he? Whatever we're doing. Yeah, that's what spinning in the air is. Oh, I thought you said rah rah rah. No, we change it. Because it's a dinosaur. He's gonna be saying that. Yeah, that's basically how I talk. Now <laughs> that that's what I was so confused when you're when he said rah 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 and I was just like no no well, he's he's gonna be spinning um the uh when you guys are stealthing do you want River and Zendala to come with you or do you want them to hang behind uh no I think if they hang behind that would be good because then we can make a flit like. If we have to, like, distract them, we can have them make a distraction and spring our trap or something. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I think we're okay. good on our own. So just you two. Um, the raptors, um, as you guys start stealthing behind a building trying to get closer, you see the raptors uh, start to yelp and um, start to, like, uh, circle the king of feathers. And you see the king look up at you, Brody, and goes, uh, ah, <laughs> I see what this is. An insurrection, ha! Huh? You've brought your own dinosaurs to come and fight me. Stop well, this, you, you. <laughs> you know what? I've seen, <laughs> I've seen enough bloodshed in my day. How about this? There's no need for fighting. There's no need for our armies to clash. Just me and you, tough man. And whoever uh, wins gets the whole caboodle. Oh yeah, I'm I'm totally going to do that. That uh, sounds good to me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I start <laughs> I start floating down as I'm as I'm spinning. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you see that the amphitheater um has been outlined in this giant uh dirt circle. And you see the king of feathers say uh the circle is is about um 150 feet in diameter and the king says The rules are simple, my friend. We mm -hmm. both step into the ring. And the first person to push the other one out wins. And oh. if you win, you can have the city, you can have my dinosaurs. But if oh, I, I win, you leave my city, and I take your dinosaurs. Oh, yeah, that sounds great. Uh, seeing as I have none, I guess this is the... You're just putting all your chips in on this one. Okay, all right. I got, let's go. I will take your dinosaurs. <laughs> yes. I'm putting all of my dinosaurs on the line for this. I'm so worried right now. I'm going <laughs> to uh I'm going to whisper something to uh I'm going to whisper something over to my buddy Kentucky. Um mm -hmm. I have an idea. If he's going to be on the ground, I don't need to use fly anymore. When mm -hmm. he gets a low on health, uh, I can polymorph him after your polymorph, and we can keep him a T-Rex when he starts to look injured. Oh. Or you could polymorph me right now, and I could go in. But it's well. a one-on-one -on -one fight. We don't know that. Isn't that isn't that immoral? But we don't know what the dinosaurs are saying. Yeah, to be fair, you guys do not know what the dinosaurs are saying. 
Um, I I spin I spin the other direction as I'm going down. <laughs> you start spinning the other direction. <laughs> what does that mean? Yeah. It, it we don't know reverse. what's going on, dude. To be honest, uh, it means reverse. Reverse. <laughs> reverse. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, hopefully shit. they get the message. Hopefully they get the message. Oh. Get shit, brother. Um, I don't know. He seems to be spinning a lot now. Maybe you're right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, um, Brody, when you get on the ground, um, uh-huh. you see the King of Feathers kind of do a little stretch. His little vestigial arms come up, and he like tightens the crown of feathers on his head, and he goes, "Ah, I'll have you know." I'm eight times undefeated in the ring, Prince of Prunes. All right, I'm. This is my first time doing this, so I guess I'm. Uh, I'll do my best. I can't cast spells, right? Correct. <laughs> Damn. All right. Fuck. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Let's go. What, All what right. Are my um. So as a T Rex. Your uh, strength score is plus seven. Okay. And your constitution is plus four. So I need you to make a strength saving throw and a constitution saving throw. You can just roll a d20 as uh, the King of Feathers tries to push you. Oh, just a d20? Yep. Go ahead and roll a d20 twice. So that'll be strength. So that's tw- 20. Good. And con is 22. Nice. So the King of Feathers is going to roll. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, yeah, Brody, you get a nasty shoulder tackle on the King of Feathers, <laughs> and you push him about 50 feet back, and his tail is dangling over the edge of the dirt in the line, and you see the King of Feathers' eyes go wide with fear <laughs> as, you, as you've pushed him to the edge of the dirt circle. Um... And you hear him go, oh, holy shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pr- pr- prunes aren't so bad now. A- after all, aren't they? You should have eaten yours, young man. <laughs> um, Go ahead and um, roll another set of uh, D20s here. Oh, not good. Um... Oof. So that's a 12 and a 19. You sure can, Chucky. Yeah, lucky the five. All right, go ahead and re-roll. Wow! Wow. There goes one lucky point. You serious? Wow, holy shit. Okay, the King of Feathers grits his teeth and pushes you back into the center of the arena, Brody. Okay. All right. I I thought I'd just give you a fighting chance. (laughs) (laughs) You hear him go, you will not win today, Prince. All right. Jesus. Holy shit. Oh, no. How does that even happen? All right, Brody, oh, you feel your feet sliding against the dirt as the King of Feathers pushes you back against your edge of the dirt line, your tail just uh, sweeping over it, and you hear the feather you you hear the King of Feathers go, "Shh, all right, just accept it." <laughs> Weird. All right, let's go. <laughs> let it happen. You oh serious? Dude. 
Uh oh. That's that's oh crazy. another crit. Yeah, yeah. That no. Oh, uh, but uh, but yeah. That is a stalemate. Okay. Um. So you guys are actually deadlocked here. He is not able to push you any further. Jeez. All right. Let's. Oh uh, no. Okay. Ho hold on. <laughs> I've rolled three fours in a row. Dems the rules. <laughs> oh shit, dude. He's gonna roll another twenty-seven, isn't he? Okay. Oh yeah. wow. Um, you guys Jeez. are deadlocked once again, not being able to push you. And Brody, you can feel the raptors. Um, they're like circling around the edge of the arena, and you feel them like nipping at your ankles. All right, that's a four, fourteen. Jesus and a Christ. 24. Oh, that's a that's a crit. All right, mm. Brody, you're able to push the King of Feathers back into the center of the ring. Got it. Okay. All right. Oh. <laughs> so that's a 21 and a five. Yeah. Oh shit! How many crits is this guy gonna get? Oh, Brody, he pushes you yeah. back to the edge of the ring. Jeez, this is like. All Joe right, didn't eat up go. all the bad rolls, and now I. Got... That's a nineteen. Okay, that's a miss. Okay, that's another deadlock. Jesus. 18 and an 11. That's a tie. Wow. Yeah. All right. Brody, you feel mm -hmm. the backs of your legs slip over that dirt line. Yeah. And you hear the King of Feathers go, <laughs> Nine and O. Oh. And the second he says, Oh, can I chomp him? Absolutely. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not even mad at that, to be honest. It, I, I, can't I, believe I, I, it, I can't believe the DM forced you to roll like six fours in a row. Uh, <laughs> that 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 was that was stupid. So I'm gonna reel back my head like I'm pretending to fall, then I'm gonna like swing my head forth using the momentum and yep. bite him in the neck. And you hear him go, ah, well, that's what happens to all these challengers. Um so the T-Rex, go ahead and roll a d20. Okay. Uh, the bite attack is plus 10. Uh, so that's a 13. Uh, that is exactly the T-Rex's AC. Oh my god. Uh, so that does hit. And uh, go ahead and roll 4d12 plus 7 damage. D12 plus 7. Oof. 36 damage as you wrap your uh, mouth around his neck and just, you know, blood just starts spurting. You hear the the King of Feathers go, oh. All right, boys, we got another one that can't accept the rules. <laughs> go ahead and kill him. Uh, as soon as uh, Brody bites him, I'm going to turn uh, Kentucky into a T. Oh, wait. That will make me lose concentration. It will. Isn't it will. that what you wanted? I mean, uh, Zendala we... and River Mist are with you. You could turn one of them into a T Rex. Okay. Well, I'll which... say do River. I was thinking like, yeah. I just realized right. that like we should probably keep him as a. T All right, I'm gonna right. turn River Mist into a, a T Money. All right. Fuck yeah, yeah. dude. Uh, I'm gonna pee real quick. Be right back. Unless you don't want to be a T-Rex anymore. If I get hit while being a T-Rex, I have to roll for concentration. Like, if you don't want... Do you want to be a T-Rex still, Brody? I mean, yeah, it's pretty It's pretty cool. I'm just... Okay. I'm just really feeling some type of way about those rolls, man. Like, that, yeah, that, that was yeah. bullshit. That was bullshit. I got, yeah, that was bullshit. I got that robbed. Turned, that turned on the low roll modifier. 
Yeah, seriously. I got robbed. I got burgled out of those rolls. That was that you was sure uh, ridiculous. Oh well. It happens. Feels bad, man. Matt just has a button that he pushes to make I it think all so. bad. He's like, it's time for bad rollerinos. <laughs> nah. I'm still going to kick his ass. It's fine. Yeah, you are. At least I think no, so. I hope so. I know so. Mm -hmm. uh... Yeah. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to climb on River Mist's back, and as he charges, I'm going to try and jump on the King of Feathers back. Mm. If you don't kill him before we get there. Uh, no, he's probably got like a buttload of HP, is my guess. That's the actual number on the character sheet, buttload. It just says buttload, yeah. Yeah. Instead of a cord of wood, it's a cord of butts. <laughs> All right, nerds. What's the plan? Um, I, when, uh, River Mist gets turned into a dinosaur. I'm actually gonna climb on him while we charge, so I can charge on his back. Oh fuck yeah, dude! Jump on it! Jump on jump, it! Jump! Jump on it! Okay, yeah. Uh, River Mist explodes, just skin and bone cracking as he just transforms into this giant T Rex. Um, you hear River Mist, and then you go, "Oh, holy fuck!" and just turn into a, a fucking T Rex. Um, and Chucky, you're able to climb up on his tail and up onto his back. Um, you see that uh, Brody and the King of Feathers have engaged in combat, and the Raptors have started to jump onto uh, like Brody's like legs and thigh and tail, and they're just like clawing and biting. Dang. Okay. Yep. You better help me. <laughs> Uh, Zendala actually jumps on the back of uh, River Mist as well, as uh, as you guys start um, start heading over. Heck yeah! Do you so, go Z or are you coming? Yeah, what does um, Z what does Z want to do? Z's gonna hang back and just try and do some long range stuff because Z Z yeah. knows that if he gets hit for whatever reason, he drops the poly. Which means we're at a disadvantage. And I remind uh, Chucky of that as well. Yeah, I'll be aware, friend. Chucky, did you end up taking Warcaster? I uh, guess. Oh, I just shit. I did not add it. Yeah. Hell yeah. All right. Well, um, Brody, you're mm -hmm. fighting for your life. Um, yeah. You know, you're. A large T-Rex, you're very capable, but you know, uh, you have a T-Rex fighting and you and you have about a half dozen raptors running around your legs, nipping your ankles and your thigh. You feel one of them latched onto your tail. Um you know that this is a fight that you can't win. Um really? and you okay. see another another T-Rex turn the corner around a building and start running towards the amphitheater. And you see Chucky sitting on top of its head, you know, Jungle's Wrath held up high. And you see Zendala somewhere around the middle of its back. And she's just like hanging on and screaming for dear life. <laughs> and you see okay. the King of Feathers turn his head and he goes, Oh, holy shit. A fucking nether one. Are you kidding me? Yeah, it's my dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> that's that, that, that that's your friend this is your friend that's coming uh yeah yeah those are my dinosaurs that you, you that uh you would have won but you lost so you know them's the rules oh uh, <laughs> fucking christ <laughs> um as you guys approach um 
Uh, Chucky, is there anything in particular you want to do on the back of um, of River here, the T-Rex? Yeah, I actually want to try and jump on top of King of Feathers' back. Okay. Once we get close enough, and uh, I'll use my bloody boots to try to help assist me. So he'll get covered in the an attempt to cover him in the blood as I land on top. Just uh, do it in his eyes. He can't. Uh, he can't read exactly. his eyes to wipe it. Jesus Christ! All right, hepatitis Chucky. attack. Welcome HIV. Back. <laughs> um, <laughs> Chucky, make an acrobatics check for me. All right. Jesus hey. Christ. Well, 20 is a success on very difficult, so... Uh, <laughs> Chucky, you leap off of, of River's head and activate your boots, and you see the King of Feathers look up and go, What the fuck? Oh, <laughs> as your blood boots shoot down and fill his mouth and spray his eyes with blood. Um, where where are you landing? Um, wherever on his... I want to try and land on top of him, but I want to land in the blood and slip. Okay. So. Yeah, yeah. You you can find an area like on his back to uh, to grab onto. All right. Um, and Zendala, you guys see she, um, you see her cast oh, a spell. Oh, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Before I do that, I'm gonna to turn to Zendala and say, "Ding dong, baby, <laughs> jump off." What? And she's going to see the bloody explosion. She looks at you and goes, uh, excuse me? And then just blood <laughs> shoots out of your boots. Does the blood cover her as well? Uh, it does, yeah. And uh. she goes, oh, God. Um, so Zendala. after you land, Chucky, you see Zendala um, cast a spell and she throws down a fireball at Brody's feet. And um, Brody, you're going to take a little bit of fire damage, but you see all of the raptors that have latched onto your ankles and legs um, just get absolutely incinerated by this giant fireball. Yeah. Um, Brody, my... go ahead and make a deck save. Okay. Uh, it's going to be... Just roll a d20. It's going to be plus oh. zero. Okay. Uh, so you are going to take full damage here. Oh, I didn't roll d twenty. I rolled a deck save. Oh, gotcha. Um. Oh, fifteen. Oh, that actually might. Is that just enough? Uh. Give me one second here. What's her fucking spell save? Okay, her spell save is fifteen, which you hit. So you take half damage here. Which is yeah. What's my HP? D six. Uh, so you take twenty damage. Uh, your HP is one hundred and thirty six. Okay. But you also took forty damage from the uh, raptors. One thirty six. So that's a total of sixty. Okay. Oh, JPEG. Just a heads up. Your camera's frozen again. Okay. Uh, hold on. It's it's your not an fucked. Not an urgent issue. Yeah, he, luckily just, your your face looks good. Just letting you know. <laughs> it, fro it froze on a good part, honestly. <laughs> Looking great. Um. <clears throat> so, the king of feathers, blood in his eyes, blood in his mouth. Chucky on his back. He looks down. He sees this fireball engulf all of his raptors. Um, another T-Rex behind him. Uh, you hear the King of Feathers go, <clears throat> Hey, hey, hey. Whoa, guys. We don't have to get violent here. <laughs> hey, you want the city? The city's yours. Hey, you say the word, I'm out of here, man. And he's like looking at the two T-Rexes. No. Oh, yeah, I can't talk to him. Nope. It's uh, River Mist and uh, Brody. Uh, uh, River, River will, will give will give Brody the um, 
the stage here. Okay, hold on. I'm resetting my camera right now. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Um, I'm just gonna look at him and be like, uh, I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of here for like a key. Do you got one of them keys to the city? Whoa, hey, hey, man. You want keys? I got keys, all right? And he, um, he reaches up into his crown of feathers and you see him boop, detach something and hold it out in his tiny little arm. And you see this steel key with a skull on the back of it. Okay. Can and I he goes, hey, you want this key? I don't want this key, man. Yeah, I'll take it. Hey, what? it's yours. Just gonna, okay, yeah, I'll take it. You guys hear the raptors on the ground screaming as their skin is just melting into the concrete. <laughs> yeah, um, I guess I'll take it. I don't know what's on. going on. Uh, so. I mean, oh. Z, you're looking around the corner of the building. You can see that, like, you know, the, the fireball and the dinosaurs talking to each other. Yeah, but. All I know is that there's a bunch of carnage and violence going on right now. Yeah, yeah, very true. There's also, you do see one dinosaur pulling out a key and handing it. Oh, that yeah, that is true, yeah. Do I care, though? Well, that's the key we're after. Also, I'm wondering that as well. So That's a, that's I'm a like, Z. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna lightning bolt the king of feathers with the raptors. Fuck yeah, dude. Roll that lightning bolt. Go ahead and roll oh, that yeah. damage. Will it be hitting me as well? Uh, no, it's it's a, in a line, so it, it's okay. I can target it. Uh, the King of Feathers fails. Eight D. Right, eight d six. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So Brody, you take the key from the King of Feathers, and then you just see the King of Feathers go <laughs> as this fucking giant lightning bolt shoots out from behind a building and just hits the King of Feathers in the side <laughs> as he just starts convulsing. Um, and he goes, oh, holy shit, I gave you the fucking key, all right, man? <laughs> Can I take advantage yeah. of this as I see what's happening? Yeah, yeah, what do you want to do? I don't, hear what's hap I don't see what's happening. Understand? So I see this as Zer weakening him, and I'm like, or Z, and I go, now's my chance. I activate this, the sword, the nature's fury, or jungle's fury, and I go, oh, Uptow, another one of your servants has been corrupted by darkness. Please, but they have still a chance to be saved. Please free them from this eternal shackles and release their mind. And I plunge the sword into his head. Oh my god. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> um, Chucky, you plunge the sword into the T-Rex's head and you see these vines sprout up around uh, the King of Feathers' skull and the vines like creep up around his skull and lift the crown off of his head, and you see the vines just kind of push it away, and it just lands in a corner. And you see the King of Feathers' eyes kind of, like, um, turn docile, and he looks around and goes, Oh, where am I? This, this isn't Ooh. the jungle. This isn't the jungle. Who are you? Who are you, dinosaurs? Do I know you? <laughs> oh, yeah, we were just chilling. <laughs> oh, oh, by the way, I don't mean to cause alarm, but I am severely injured. I, I yeah. did not know what happened to me. Uh, don't worry about that. It's, uh, it's, we were just roughhousing, you know. We were playing the dino games that dinosaurs play. You know those ones. Oh, oh yes. Were we playing Dino Rugby? That show yes. was one of my favorites. <laughs> yeah, Dino Rugby is way more exciting than Dino uh, football. I don't know I why. Agree. Dino football is for pussies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, for God's sakes, it's not even in the Olympics. <laughs> oh. 
Uh, I don't know why. Better than playing Dino people. Soccer. Yeah. Well, oh, it's that, only that, started on Dino Soccer. They only call it Dino Soccer in it, some reasons. I don't know why. I mean, you used lay to down and cry the whole time. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. So yeah, we were just doing that. Why well, you can go now? <laughs> oh well, um, I do say I'm. Um, I my memory's a bit hazy, but I think I have a mother and a sister. Um, I'm gonna go look for them. Uh, it, it's been nice uh, playing rugby with you chaps, but um, yeah. I'm gonna cool. leave. All right, bye. Oh, the grown, the grown. Uh, All right. Oh wait, wait, hold on. You know about any grung around here? Those little frog guys are really tasty. Oh, any grung? Oh man, you know my my memory's a bit gnarly right now, but I do remember um this this morning. Was it this morning? Oh man, I I remember being so decisive and being so kingly. Um. But I remember this morning down to the south where the lava pits are. I saw these these stick creatures. Uh, they've they've captured a grung, and they were stringing him up and getting ready to throw him into the lava. Um, that's all I remember. Jeez. Wow. Okay. In, in the lava. That's uh... yeah. Oh, that's that seems a little much, but uh, hey, I mean, but he's... that doesn't concern us dinosaurs, huh? No, not at all. Not at dinosaurs. We're totally chill with s s lava sacrifice. <laughs> oh, no, of course. Yeah, of course. It's in our doctrine. We're totally chill with lava sacrifice. Well, anyway, um, <laughs> I think I've been in this city for way too long. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm starting to, you know, miss uh, Dino White Castle and, and Dino. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, uh, All right. No well, <laughs> um, it's a pleasure playing rugby with you chaps, but um, I'm going right. to head off now. Uh, me too. Bye. All right. Well, <laughs> well met. I'm going to turn around and walk away. And I yeah, am going to grab, yeah. I'm gonna grab the a drink. Feathers then. turns around and stomps away. You're going to grab wait, the crown? What? Uh, he, does, off. he does not speak dinosaur yet. Chuck, you have to jump off. Yeah. Oh, I, I uh, I'm gonna actually weird. disengage. Oh, uh, Brandon, your camera froze. That's fine. I like. And for the love of God, will you stop playing video games while we're role playing, my guy? Everyone's camera's talking? frozen. I can see your Steam activity, sir. Yeah, I was doing Hell Let Loose. I'm not doing Hell Let Loose anymore. <laughs> no, you're doing Tekken Eight. Get the fuck out of here. All right, that is Boy. it for the King of Feathers, and you guys have obtained another key. All right. There we go. I'm back. I um, knew the lava pits were going to be a point of interest. I just didn't know it was going to be where we needed to get the other key. I was like, something's going to go down there. Oh, yeah. You got well, it. Well, if he was just being strung up, that means we don't have a lot of time, right? No, actually... Oh. We don't know how long the key or the the crown had been placed on him. Matt, your camera froze. You got this weird ass pose. Oh, on. dude, what? The it's fuck great. Is, you look the, the best right wrong now. Wrong with? Oh, that's a pretty good camera freeze, honestly. <laughs> that's, that's a that's a gifable what? moment right there. Yeah, that that's a that's a that's a stream emoji for sure. That, right? I, I, I do really enjoy that. <laughs> Yeah. I wonder if it's the uh, virtual green screen is just crashing. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, I mine you, has not crashed really once, late. by the way. Yeah, neither is Dale's. Um, uh, but anyway. Um, so uh, to the point that you were making about it just happened, according to the dinosaur, it happened earlier that morning. His last memory was just getting into the city before the crown was placed on him. That could have been 100 years ago. Do dinosaurs live a hundred years? Maybe these ones, dinosaurs but also he said maybe this maybe this morning they were straight. Even if it was this morning, he's probably been thrown in the lava. I'm assuming. <laughs> <laughs> um. So the the king of feathers walks away. Um. The raptors are their their skin and bones are melted into the concrete of the amphitheater. Um, you guys are all huddled 
talking about, okay, uh, do, do dinosaurs live a hundred years? Has the, has the grung been thrown into the lava already? You guys are talking about that. And you guys see a figure approach from within the buildings and as the uh as he comes out of the shadows you guys see a tabaxi with these strange um formations around his skin and as he gets closer you realize that his skin has been tattooed and his fur has actually grown to that pigmentation you guys see tattoos of like Balls of fire, gusts of wind, a bunch of jungle animals, boars, rabbits, snakes. Um, and this tabaxi keeps getting closer to you guys. Um, Joe, would you okay. like to say something? Oh, thank the ancestors I found you. Dead ringers. Well met. Wait, what? Who is this guy? Who are you? Kill him. I, pull up my gun I see that you have handily dispatched these dinosaurs that have kept me at bay for so long. It's been a fortnight here just sneaking around these giant lumbering idiots. <laughs> uh, hey, do you know this guy? And I, I, I go to uh, River and I, I kind of look at him and be like, do you know River this Mist, guy? Um, River Mist shares a look with you and he goes, No, I don't know him personally, but... I do know of his tribe. There's you see a tribe me of tabaxi. Up a, lightning, a lightning bolt. <laughs> There's a tribe of tabaxi in the jungle that uh, have their skin tattooed. They're known to be the most fearsome tabaxi in the jungle. I I would be wary of this one. Okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to. You know, just because you're tabaxi, I'm saying you all know each other. <laughs> Just, no, that's okay. You know, I know we all look alike, but he, he just gives you like a mean look. I recognize uh, the face of the brave and wise merchant prince, Chucky, and I recognize the visage of Brody, the fearless. I do not know this faceless one, and, and where is your shorter companion, August? <laughs> Uh, he seems to I, know all of the dead ringers. Okay. Yeah, you know all of our names. That's even more. I was there. I was there the day in the pits when you rescued the young lad's father and we were we set upon by the zombies. I was in the pits. I, I I'm looking at Chucky for on this one. I I don't remember. Oh. Um oh, make uh, you guys make a history check uh with advantage. Uh, Z, you were also there in Zur form. Um, you can make a check if you want as well. What the fuck? I have no, no. fucking clue. Brody's rolls that is are wild. Are in this session. Have you? Have you? Did you see my my uh, arena rolls? I was uh, Joe. I was watching the whole time. Yeah, dude. Brody oh literally rolled God. like f like a, a number Three four fours. on the d twenty uh, like yeah. four times in a row. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, Dale's Chucky's got it. Chucky, Zer doesn't remember either. Chucky, you remember when you were pulling out um, what's Tony's, his name's Tony's, Tony's, Tony's father from the pit? You remember seeing the other combatants in the pit? You remember there being another human, and you remember there being a Tabaxi with strange print all over his body. And you recognize him as the man that you were looking at right now. Interesting. Uh, I do remember this guy. He was there. Do you remember him? You were in the pit. What was your crime? My crime was wanting to help my clan. I Forgive me. I, I am a tooth of Clan Bent River. I have spent some time under the servitude of that wretched Prince Merchant, who you happily dismiss. I might add. I was in <laughs> servitude to him, or imposed servitude. Talking about but Jobel. 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 And, and mm -hmm. as he says Jobel, he spits on the ground. Jobel. <laughs> May he... Jobel was... <laughs> uh, <laughs> he was such a horrible <laughs> man. 
I am glad to be out from underneath his crooked thumb. I'm surprised he didn't spit, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, he hates Jobel. I like him. But you have uh, given me hope. The Dead Ringers. I I'm sorry, who is the faceless friend? What is your name, friend? I assume you are a friend since you travel with the Ringers. I am Z. Z. Okay, well met, Z. So, do you want, do you want me to tell him the story, or is no one going to run it down for him? Or... All right, yeah. so, <laughs> you remember... <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, so, you remember you remember we had this little kobold buddy of ours? Uh, yes, the strange kobold. The, uh, the people called him Zer. What Zer, a strange yeah. name. All right, now stay with me. <laughs> I am this here. Is sound he like really... braces. He like braces himself. I am here. All right. Yeah, yeah. No, this is gonna sound really weird because it is, and I don't fully understand it. Maybe we will one day. So, turns out, um, this other guy was actually two guys. One of them was basically. A servant to the patron, he's a warlock and all that. And uh, the other one was who he really was, which is this guy. And uh, this guy turned into a kobold once and got the bird put inside of him. Not like that. <laughs> and then they split apart. And then when they split apart after some, I think, pack breaking thing, I'm not really sure how this warlock shit worked. But either way, uh, uh, we killed that guy because that guy was really evil, and this is the, all the good parts of that guy, I think. That's what happened. <laughs> I said, I'm sorry. I think. <laughs> As you say <laughs> that, uh, Z just puts his thumbs up, you know, like this guy, you know? Hey! <laughs> I'm sorry, friend. I must be having trouble hearing you correctly. <laughs> I, I don't know that I want you to repeat any of the things that you just said. Those words don't make any sense in that order. Well, that's what happened. I don't know what you want me to say. Yeah, you so, hear Zendala say, yeah, they don't make any fucking sense at all. <laughs> ah, Zendala. Well, the Zendala there. Yeah, yeah, they're all hanging around. No, ah, I mean, Zendala, she well met. Split? Yes, I, I do not know you, but thank no, you. No, you shouldn't. I have been a gladiator in the pits for far too long. Many years have passed and many moons have passed since I have last seen my family or heard from them. I wish to come with you. I wish to be, well, of service to you. You have freed me from my contract, and I do wish to be rid of this death curse so I can return to my clan or what's left of it. I am to assume that we are still to face the great and powerful Rosna Sea, no? Where? <laughs> where is August? Where is the short one? Oh, yeah, yeah. He went back to Port Nianzaro with his uh, dragon girlfriend. Yeah, he's oh. a coward. No. <laughs> oh, well, that's unfortunate. Why would he do such a thing in such a dire time of need? Uh, because he said that Port Liam Zaro was really important to get back there and do something. I don't know. He convinced us. I wish him well. Honestly, um, we weren't going to stop him. I must Shoot. admit, he did have a conversation. Or I must admit, Zendar did have a very desperate conversation with me. As he was whisking, whisking me away to this destination. Tooth, you remember Zindar telling you that he had suspicions that some of his own crew uh, were betraying him. And that he entrusted you to um, find the dead ringers and tell them this information. He was very urgent that I found you and told you that. He was afraid of some... Uh, what did he you call them? Secret UNT, yeah, That's yeah, we found knowledge. a list. He was afraid of, what was the word he used specifically? Uh, as infiltrators, UNT. I believe is the word. He, he was afraid of someone infiltrating the operation. He said he yeah. could not trust anyone. There's, uh, there's, we found a list of, uh, UNT that may be hiding out. Actually, probably are still hiding out. In uh, Port Niantaro, so I guess they're gonna take care of those guys. 
So, you have beaten Rasnasi, the powerful? Oh, yeah, yeah, we took care of his ass. <laughs> really? Well, he who was else but the dead ringers? Though. And I am to assume that that object that you took off of the King of Feathers, as he was, uh, this object is something to do with getting rid of the curse? Yes. So, we have two of the three keys that uh, we need to open up the... Was it the? I almost said temple. It's not a temple. It's a. It is. Word. It is the temple of. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The temple of Wutao. That's what. That's uh. That's what we're gonna open with this key. Ho or the three keys. Hopefully. Well, my sword and my claws and my tooth. You see that his left tooth is significantly chipped. His left canine is significantly chipped. That's why he went by the nickname of Tooth because he's a full <laughs> tooth on. His right canine and then his left canine is chipped, noticeably so. Okay. Well, uh, what are you, uh, what are you all about? I mean, what's your, uh, what's your bag, man? <laughs> you, you guys hear River Mist speak, speak up and say, We only have room for one tabaxi on this crew. Oh, <laughs> no, no, I'm just. I'm just oh, kidding. No. I thought that would be oh, very okay. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just well, kidding. Well, I am. So I am a jaguar tabaxi. So I look very large and burly compared to River yes, Mist. Yes, kind of skinny, he is noticeably bigger than the skinny and sleek uh, River Mist. And his okay. face is like scarred up. Like there's like scars all over his face to where it's like it's a wonder he can even see. And you guys mm. see that Tooth has a um, a large blow uh, blow dart on his back, and he carries a, uh, a blow dagger uh, with a uh, with a rainbow sheen on it and a scimitar in the other uh, in the other holster. Okay, all right. And the only thing he's actually wearing is just loose garb, but there's not even it's not even hide armor or leather or anything of the sort. He's just wearing loose garb on top of his. Yeah, basically just cloth. Okay, I'm down. Uh, I think we should let him join us. I mean, does anybody have any objections? I mean, not really. We need. He says Zendar. He knows our whole story, our whole deal. Well, he you are heroes to the people of Nianzara, to the jungle of Chol. Why would I not help the heroes, the Dead Ringers? Well, well, the more you keep talking about it, the more suspicious I get. So, <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, this doesn't help the cause at all. He's very adamant as he's like looking at Chucky as he's awe inspired. Yeah, he does. He Just... does seem very earnest. Yeah. Well, I surely well. you have a plan for the third key. Yes. Well, uh, we're gonna look for some grung guys. So. I think we're just gonna go in the water and wait about until we see some frog guys, and then uh, maybe go find some lava. I guess they well, like lava. Brody had what I assumed to be a conversation with the King of Feathers before parting. No. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, they said they were gonna sacrifice uh, one of the grungs. That's the last thing he remembers. Did they say where they were going to sacrifice them? Uh, down there in the pit of lava. <laughs> Interesting. I only know this side of the city, unfortunately. I wasn't able to trek very far as I was entrapped, and I didn't... Fe I feared to blow my cover. Kill him. Yeah. He blow his it, cover. Well, that's where he's going to be, is uh, at the lava pit. So that's where we're going. You want to come with us? Yes, I would love to be of service. I'm an All astute right. tracker in, in the jungles and in the city. Well, with that being said, if you catch uh, any signs of any grung, because that's where we're looking for, uh, the key, they have the key somewhere, that's all we know. I Yes, but unfortunately, I do not know the route to this lava pit. You will have to lead from there. Yeah, well, that's where we're going. All right. 
Well, the party meets uh, Toothbent River. Uh, what's that Final Fantasy noise when you gain a party member? Uh, whatever. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you guys start heading south um, towards the uh, lava pits. Uh, you guys passed a bunch of ruined buildings on your way. And... As we're trekking, I asked Chucky specifically if he could regale me of all of their adventures. Ooh. Can you tell me more about this event? And maybe you can tell me of this event. Oh, man, the event where you... Be... <laughs> yeah, I know. He's just fanboying right now. Fangirling. He's going to be so disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, could you tell me of the Akroan monastery where you met the princess? <laughs> was she kind? Not, was not she joke. wise? Was she noble? I mean, she was. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows, knows you killed her, bro. I didn't kill her. She just... I didn't I kill her. Home. I didn't kill her. <laughs> we were just hanging out one day. We gave her a crown, and all of a sudden her insides turned to stone and she crumbled from the inside out it was, it was some shit man um z you have some insight on that event um you you remember the the events when you were in your zur form um if if you'd like to say anything you can uh i'm trying to think of what i would say Uh, I'll just say that uh, I can't believe Ur did that to her. What? Oh, you did kill her. What? Yes, Ur, Ur did. But how? Well, it's kind of hard to explain. August is like miles away in deep jungle thick, and he's like, I knew it! <laughs> 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 His ears get hot. <laughs> well, there you have it. Turned out half of our guy killed her. Half of our guy. One half of the guy. <laughs> what? This is Chucky so, why does Chucky sound so fucking depressed right now? <laughs> Because he misses his best buddy. He misses his best uh, little boy. And guess what? The guy that killed her is also... A, they they worship him as a master monk. He's unmovable and poisoned the queen. and uh, You know, standard hero story. One gets fucked up at the end. I must say, this is better stuff than the stories of my ancestors told around the jungle vine. This is... A, this is riveting really and this z comes from that same person yeah yeah my one of my buddies just exploded after killing another one of my buddies there's <laughs> two other buddies but one buddy was evil. So forgive me chucky was... but you seem down i do not mean to recall bad memories i'm sorry Forgive me. No oh, man, I'm sorry. I just been—it's been a rough day, man. A rough couple days. Someone lost their arm. One of my best buddies left. I got—I had my own cowardice come into question. Well, I, I, I stabbed well, myself in the heart. When he when he says that, I put my hand on his shoulder and I say no. August is the coward. Oh, and I sure smile. Not. He must yeah. be if he would leave you in such a time as this. I, Again, that is a decision that I look down upon. And it's not a wise decision. Yeah, I thought he was braver than that too, but turned out he gone yellow. So as you guys approach the uh, pool of lava, um, you guys see these um, ruins kind of dangling over the cliffside. A lot of them have fallen over. Um, and you can feel the heat from the bubbling lava below. 
and there's this little outcrop of land that kind of extends towards the lava pool and kind of dips down into a sheer cliffside. And you guys can see these stick-like creatures. Um, they look like this. So they have uh, faces, but they're kind of made out of like bark and sticks. And they're all kind of doing this uh, ritualistic uh, dance. <laughs> as you guys we see... All said the <laughs> <laughs> as you guys see them um lift a grung up into the air uh who you know who is trapped in like uh he's like bound up in all these vines and they just throw him off the edge of the cliff and you see him just like tumble down and he's screaming like oh god please and just like falls into the lava pool and just a boop just a little bubble sheesh um they have one more grung left to sacrifice but they're all kind of very ritualistically just dancing, just like having a party. They're like, literally, they're like break dancing on this cliff uh, while this grung is like trapped in these vines, just like, oh God. Uh, I'm going to do something. Is that okay, DM? <laughs> Please. Yeah. All right. He's not even registering this real quick. He's just talking more to. Tooth yeah it's still as soon as as soon as yeah as soon as tooth sees this he immediately just like his instincts his eyes go from that kind of like relaxed pupil to the to the, you know to the crescent moon and his hairs stand up on the back of his neck and his muscles tighten and he uses his feline agility to double his movement speed um yeah double double the speed <clears throat> And I'm going to, or Tooth is going to. Oh, we're in a bigger map. Um, you you guys are closer at this point. Um, you okay. guys are probably about eighty feet away. Okay, he's going to. He's going to. With your feline agility, you can make your way into the crowd. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm gonna move um, to. I have a wilder idea. Uh, I look at Brody and say, do you want to take a walk on the wild side? Whoa. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I'm just, I, I'm just going to do I can, it. I can appreciate the fact that you don't know what that means, but <laughs> yeah, go, what, yeah, you're, you're going, you're booking it. Yeah. What is, what is tooth doing? He's going to do use, I'm going to use my dash, uh, to get there, grab the grung and then get back. In the same turn. Okay, so, um, well, I tooth, you uh, spr you sprint down the cliffside, um, into the throng of uh, stick people, and um, they all stop their ritualistic dance. Okay. As you pick up the grung and like put them on your shoulder, and they all look at you. And then they go and like lift their spears up and start throwing them at you as you as you start to run back. Okay. Um, let's see. What is um, it that you wanted to say, Brent? Yeah. Uh, well, I had a whole a whole thing to do with that. So uh, sometimes doing is better than do. speaking. Uh, tooth Tooth ran ahead of you. I, so I anything you want to do is going to be after that. That is not I hard kind of in want this to case. Let tooth um, cook as well. If you want to let tooth cook, you can let tooth cook. But I was just because we just because we haven't seen what tooth can do yet. Yeah. What 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 did you want to do? Uh, I was gonna do a dimension door straight behind the speaker. Oh. Um, I and literally just ambush him. I think I think cool. it's better if they come to us. Two two hits, by the way, Matt. I I think you're rolling for that. Yeah, I got it. Um, tooth, uh, you dodge most of the spears, but you're going to take five uh, piercing damage. Okay. From the uh, from the spears as you run back. Um, and as the uh, stick people look up and see the uh, reinforcements coming down the hill, 
they all um kind of look up and you see their bodies kind of come apart into a bunch of twigs that land on the ground and then like sink into the earth as they all disappear. What the hell? Oh. I'm sorry, Grung friend. Are you hurt? Are you injured? Oh God. Just a bit. I thought they were gonna kill me like they killed my friends. Well, I am sorry you had to witness the deaths of your friends. Do you possess a key by any chance? I know it's sudden. A key? Oh man, I just saw two of my compatriots fall into the lava. Um, I think my, my father, the king, has a key. <laughs> Let him die. <laughs> but me, I got... I got separated from my group, and we got captured by those stick people. They're, you... they're crazy. Well, we could take you back to your father. Would that be the better option? Oh, that would be most obliged. I'm going to attempt to undo the bindings on him. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty easy to just snap the uh, snap the vines <laughs> off of him. And, and he, uh, he stretches a little bit and goes, Oh, well... Thank you, strangers. My name is Prince Mug. Well met, Prince Mug. These are the Dead Ringers, and I am Tooth of Clan Bent River. You may sit upon my shoulder and rest as we trek towards your family. Oh, well, how very kind of you. And he kind of climbs up your shoulder and uh, and, and sits up there and goes, uh, Oh, well, we don't... Get many strangers into uh, into Omu, the the Dead Ringers. You say you call yourselves? Yes. Oh well, well you they are, are the most dead ringers. welcome in our city. Mm -hmm. Oh, my to... apologies. They are the Dead Ringers. Yes. You are an outsider named Tooth. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, thank thank you, outsider. You're welcome. He does. He's like completely oblivious to the, the whole, the whole like awkwardness of the situation. Uh, it's incredibly <laughs> awkward. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, you hear? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. No, oh, this whole time August is. Uh, um, he said he didn't even register one on. He said, to, and you see, and the thing about August too is August always ran head first into battle. He was always the most <laughs> brave guy. He like. Nobody, like, it was so weird that he just ran off because he stood up to a dragon. He fought against a monk, for, like, in one-on-one -on -one combat, defending my honor. Oh, man. Chucky, you yeah, see who, Zendala walk guy? up to you, and she goes, she, she looks directly into your face with both of her hands on your shoulders and says, Chucky, August is gone. We are here now. We are 50 feet away from a cliffside full of lava. We need you here. I look at her and go, Wait, what happened to your brother? Oh. oh, thank you for asking. My brother is still in captivity of the Red Wizards. Remember what? the one you guys killed in Rosnessy's throne room? The one that we oh. might have gotten more information out of? Oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah. that was your brother. Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna come up. I'm gonna come up with mug on my shoulder, and I'm gonna be. You know, Chucky. This August sounds like he left a hole in the group. I would venture to say that it's probably best to heal by moving on, which is what we should be doing: is moving on. August can run anywhere he likes, but our focus is here. We are the ones who are going to... Well, the Dead Ringers are the ones who are going to rid us of the curse. You are... Oh, uh, fine, 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 fine. I uh, see if everyone. you didn't hear, Prince Mug is kindly uh, guiding us to his father, the king, who he says might have the key. The key that we seek. You seek. All right, come on, oh. Prince Mug. Yes, um, King Virgil. He will um, accept you all greatly for delivering me to him. Okay, all right. All right. 
Whatever you do, you stand on top of our heads. We don't. Want he's literally stand. He's literally sitting on my shoulder. Okay, we just want a whole root beer. I've never seen him like this. This is. <laughs> this is... Brody, I've... is is he going to be all right? Uh... I've lost so much over the past twenty four hours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure no. August is is alive. We, you speak as though as he is dead. Yeah, he's he's still around. I mean, if I fail, he will be. Oh my god, we all will be. Um, Mug looks at you guys and is like, "Are you always all this <laughs> depressed?" No, he's usually the one who's not depressed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just... all right. <laughs> well, I would love to stand here next to the lava pit talking all day, but my father, the king, uh, will surely be expecting me back soon. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Where are my manners? Uh, which way do we go? Oh, yes. Head north, my good man. North. Uh, okay. does River, does River speak Omuin? Uh, River... I believe he does. Does, uh, speak Omuin, yes. Okay, I forgot to say that that was one of the things that I wanted to talk to you about uh, for my extra language. I didn't know if Yes, cool you, you are able to take that language because okay. it is a, a native language of Cholt. So you guys start heading back, um, back north. Um, I will remind you all that um, uh, Bon uh, Bon Jovi is, uh, or John Bovi. John Bovi. John Bovi is still with you. Um, he's hanging Wait, hold out. on. No, he died. No, I didn't. No, Wait, no. no. He did he not is, die. He is still on your shoulders, Brody, but um, no one is he able didn't... to, no one is able to communicate with him. He didn't die? Nope. He's been with you guys Fuck. the whole time. <laughs> Bro, this is the office meme right here. This is the fucking. I just I just remembered, so I wanted <laughs> I wanted to remind you all that uh, that John Bovey is still with you guys. That's so funny. That's, um, that sucks. <laughs> no, we love Bon Jovi or know, John Bovey. I'm, I'm just messing around. Um, so you guys start heading north. Um. And the uh, the Prince Mug is is talking with you guys, telling you how um, the Grung have been living here. They've been um, avoiding the Yuan Ti and avoiding these creatures who they call Veggie Pygmies. Those is that, those is that the straw men? Creatures. Yeah. Do they do they just have a habit of appearing out of the ground as they He's, were? He says they do, yeah, and that the Grung have been at a uh, at a war with these creatures for about a hundred years. Hmm. Hundred years war. Jesus Christ! And he, Brad. he looks at you all and says, "Um," and says, "No, well, you're all accomplished fighters. Uh, mayhaps this is exactly what we need to turn the tides of war um, in our favor." Uh, yeah, I mean, there's just a bunch of stick people, right? Wait, wait. Oh, there's I... just a bunch of stick pig you people that are nigh unkillable and, like, throwing Grog into lava. It's been a hell of a battle for us. Oh, uh, Mud, Prince, um, if we were to defeat these straw pygmies, would you, the king, your father, be able to then give us the key? In exchange? I don't, I don't see why not. I perhaps could be able to persuade my father, King Virgil, in giving over such key. Um, I can't imagine it possesses more value than I do. <laughs> oh, no. I'm just going to look at him. Nod my yes. hand emphatically. Quite so. Well, um, off, my good men. Oh, we're walking and talking, sir. Yeah. Um. At this point, I would like to remind you all that uh, the last prince um, 
that you guys met Rootbeer. Yeah. Uh, this is oh. Prince. This is Prince Mug. And oh, his yes. father's name. And his father's name is King Virgil. Yep. Oh shit. Virgil. Virgil's root beer. Yes, anyway. I, I, I anyway, put it together. I put it, I put it. I put it together. Who cares? Um, <laughs> I, it's I do. I care. My character is completely oblivious to this, so he, I am acting oblivious to this. The only thing oh. that would make this better is if root beer's kingdom started with an A. And- <laughs> It'd be like yeah, A and the W. A and w. Uh, yeah, uh, the kingdom of box. <laughs> yes. Yeah, uh, um. <laughs> You'll find these grung have bite. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, holy shit. Uh, um, that, 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 <laughs> that's very funny. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, God. All right. I was uh, a me, huge. Let me bring you guys to this map here. (sighs) That's the next thing we know. Like Chucky's just like walking and he starts sniffling. He's just like root beer. (laughs) Why'd you have to die, root beer? Hey, Mr. Pib is not like root beer. Root beer was our friend. Mr. Pib (laughs) sucks. Holy shit! I don't think Dr. Pepper's even a real doctor. Definitely not. He's not as cool as that Dr. Thunder, though. I'll tell you that much. Oh, my God. I had Dr. Definitely Thunder not. like a couple Yo, of Yeah, we days. go hard on the Dr. <laughs> Thunder for real. <laughs> Diet Dr. Thunder? No, nah, come on. Oh, God. All right, give me a second here. Get this map set up. <laughs> Chucky just turns around, looks him right in the face. You're not him. You'll never be him. <laughs> You'll never be him. <laughs> this is so depressing. I know. He's going to start writing a country song about it, too. He is a bard. He is a bard. Oh, no. Sad bards. Oh, no. Chucky turns into fucking Machine Gun Kelly. <laughs> what? Please, no. <laughs> I was thinking more like, yeah, just Despacito, there you go. I was thinking uh, more like, he just turns around and he comes out with a country like, where are you? And oh, yeah, I'm so sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Calm the long shit. <laughs> Uh, you guys are, uh, walking through the ruins, uh, with the directions that, um, Prince Mug has given you. And, um, coming up out of the ground in front of you, uh, you guys see all these sticks shoot up out of the ground and coalesce into people. And you guys see a bunch of those veggie pygmies appear before you guys. And I need everyone to roll initiative. <gasps> battle music, battle music, battle music, battle music. Do, 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 do. Come on. Oh, I got the select on. Oh. Select. Oh, you need to add the initiative, uh, good DM. Uh, yes. Sorry, I was looking at the... There we go. Okay. Uh, shit. Where did that go? All right, uh, Brandon, I'm sending you some music. If you would be so kind as to put that on and set it on loop. When August gets back. back. <laughs> Oh, it's so funny because we all knew where that was going. Uh, (laughs) Yeah, there you go. (laughs) 
All right. And get the initiative for these assholes. Get the initiative for this asshole. All right, everyone got their initiative in. Uh, we still sure, need yeah. we still need Z. There you go. Holy is. shit! What an initiative that is. No worries. Um. Well, Z, when you, whenever you are ready, uh, you are the first to react in this situation. <sighs> I'm running out of spells. What? Running, what? It's a new day. What? We had a long rest. Did we? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Never mind. I am not running it. <laughs> this I is like it was all the same day. Oh well. Oh, okay. Never Le mind. Just, Le legitimately. Just fly, but that's it. Oh legitimately? yeah. Legitimately. You, you should go have ahead. a spell slot off for fly. Yeah, but that's it. Oh. We okay. could be on a brand new day. He could have full spell slots and he would still say like, "Oh God." I if only I had one more <laughs> mana. <laughs> I don't got any spells. <laughs> All right, I'm going to move to here. Oh, yeah. That's going to hit every one of them. That's going to hit all five of them, and I'm going to lightning bolt. Come here, man. Come up, up. <sighs> it's going to do 30 to everyone who fails. All right, Z, what you doing? I, I literally just said what I was doing. Oh, I, I literally just put my headphones back on. I'm sorry. Damn it. <laughs> He's got a lightning bolt, bolt, I think. 30. Uh, so I'm going to hit five of them, and I'm going to lightning bolt them for 30 if they fail. Okay. You're... Going to hit five of them? Mm-hmm. How? I, like this? I, yeah. Lightning bolt. Uh, does that hit that guy? Hang on. Yeah, it's a 10-foot uh, radius. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. No, you're right. It does. Okay, cool. Sorry, I got up and grabbed a drink. Um, okay, so I... they need to make dexterity saving throws. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. We'll just use the left number. They're not uh, rolling at, adva at advantage here. Well, even still, that's two crits. Oh my god. That's broken. Uh, so that's uh, success, fail. Oh, wait, what's your spell save DC, Z? Hmm. I think it's 15 now. Are you sure it's not higher? It is 15, yeah. Why is that not higher? Uh, so that's success, fail, fail, success, fail. And you rolled 30? What's up? Yep. Half. Half. So... Oh, 15 half is... This one dies, this one dies, this one dies... And so Z, your lightning bolt goes off and zaps these motherfuckers. Um, you you notice that even though you successfully uh, killed a lot of them, that the lightning damage seemed to have been uh, grounded because they're made out of wood and that your lightning damage wasn't as effective as you were hoping it would be. Even though you did kill um, three of them, just because of the just because of the sheer amount of damage you did, um, what I'm doing by saying this is that you learned that they are resistant to lightning damage. Okay, but uh, that didn't matter because you still fucked these dudes up. You decimated the ranks, but you do know it didn't hurt them as much as it could have. <laughs> you didn't do jack shit. Yes. <laughs> Yes, but they um, are in shambles. <laughs> but they are 
in shambles. Um, Z, would you like to do anything else for your turn? Yes. What would you like to do, buddy? Um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna come back here. And I don't have anything exciting to do for bonus actions. Nothing? No no exciting. I cast a spell that counts as a full action, unfortunately, and it means I just yep. get shit. Um, did you have enough uh, Brad, movement to, to go there and back? I guess you did. I love right? yeah, I love how five, he's 10, so disappointed right, in his five, 10, damage 15, output. And then going back 20, 25. <laughs> I know, 30. right? Yeah. But I wanted you to do more. Um, more killing. And then, uh, Brandon, you did read that uh, staff that you got, right? Uh, do I get an extra action? No, it just gives you some abilities. Uh, you scroll down and uh, read what your uh, staff gives you. I did, but if I can't... It doesn't give you any bonus action. I'm just making sure that you knew uh, what that did. Yeah, okay. Okay, cool. Um, Tooth, it is your turn. Prince Mug, hold on tight. Oh, well, of, of course, my liege. Do, 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 do. I'm going to draw. Oh both God! My you weren't kidding. You do go pretty <laughs> fast. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna draw both my dagger and scimitar, and I'm gonna use the bonus action to activate the prismatic dagger to you to be fiery type. Yes, uh, that is a free action, by the way. You don't need to use your bonus action for that. Oh Jeez. hell yes! And then I'm That's gonna cool. thwack a thwack on my dude here. All right, go ahead and make some attacks. Uh, when I'm doing my extra attack, I can determine if it's with my offhand or my main, main yes, weapon, Yes, right? you, you can choose which one because you have two weapon fighting, yeah. Okay, so we're going to do uh, Prismatic Dagger twice, and then we're going to do Scimitar once. Perfect. Did all three oh, of them come through? Okay, yep. Um, oh, I'm whispering these to you, basically. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why it sets a GM. Oh, yeah, no worries. Um, the 27 and the 16 from the dagger hit. Unfortunately, the scimitar is going to miss. Um, but it is fire damage. Yes, and this veggie pygmy goes down in a pile of burning cinder. Nice. But wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. Uh, uh, no, I'm kidding. There's not more. But I will go up to this guy and be like, I'm in your face. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> Get out of my face. All right, Charles, Kentucky. Time to take out some of that anger for uh, for August leaving Is on, it these, anger? Uh, on these <laughs> veggie pygmies. Or depression. I don't know. It's sad boy <laughs> hours is what it is. One of the two. Fear leaves the anger. Anger leaves the <laughs> I love Hatred. He's gonna just be sitting there blasting these fucking piggy bees. You fell off, August! You fell off, Brody! Why did you leave me? <laughs> That's exactly what's about to happen. You're doing tricks on it! <laughs> it, is, it is Chucky's turn, right? <laughs> yep, it is indeed. Alright, yeah. How far away is this guy? <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, I had pointer. Dang, that's what. That's what. Measure. Yeah, there Uh, I want you to read Dead that. Redemption, these guys. <laughs> 30. Yeah, that's actually what I'm going to do. I'm going to get up to 30, which is here. 
And I'm just gonna pull oh. out my gun and shoot. Fuck yeah, dude. I'm gonna, I'm gonna load an explosive bullet in there for the fire damage, and I'm gonna shoot it right in the Alright, go for it. <laughs> oh. Uh, by the way, uh, the first hit with the prismatic dagger, I forgot I had improved critical. I wish there was a way we could mark that in oh. this game. Oh, yeah. That's with my right. hit. Well, I'm going to have to pay more attention. Yeah, he's dead regardless, but we, we do need to pay attention to your rolls, yeah. Yeah, because that would have determined my next. Like, I would have just hit him and then gone on to the next one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Ooh, the pistol Chucky is gonna miss, unfortunately. Damn. Your shot All goes right. a little wide. That's fine. Blame it on August. Yeah, August, I failed you. <laughs> oh no. God damn it, that was the opposite of what I've... I can't do this without you. Um, Chucky, do you I... want a bonus action or anything? Uh bonus nobody's hurt right i don't think no. so no nope yeah so i will pass all right um you guys hear a rumbling as the ground in front of Z starts, um, the stone starts breaking and these giant branches start crawling up through the stonework. And you guys see a giant sentient tree uh, climb out of the ground. Uh, who, lo who looks like this? Oh, oh God. <laughs> Link. Link. Sorry. Sorry, the uh, uh it just it just looks really high. <laughs> and you hear him go <laughs> The Grong is ours. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why treants always make me laugh, but they do. I, I can't. I'm <laughs> hella baked. <laughs> I can't explain it, but uh, I'm vegging I've, out, bro. Ever, I don't know. Since I was a kid, and the first treant I saw made me start cracking up, and I have no idea why. <laughs> Uh, uh, he's going to uh, move down to where Z uh, and Brody are, and um, he's going to slam down with his giant tree trunks. Uh, this first attack is coming at Brody. Yeah, of course it is, motherfucker. Uh, Ooh. Uh, does 15 hit you? No, it does not. Oh, Brody, you nimbly like dodge away from this tree trunk. Um. And the other slam is going at Z. Uh, which is a 20, which for sure hits Z. Uh, and that's going to be for 16 damage. I guess 16 is not that much. And that is it for the Treant's turn. Um, and you guys see more, uh, uh, God damn it. Uh, more veggie pygmies, uh, crawl up out of the ground. Oh, sheesh. And Brody, it is your turn. Okay. <laughs> and do be like that. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know why. Uh, f so I'm gonna I'm gonna hunter's mark that uh, bad boy uh, for my bonus action. The big guy, the big goofy baked motherfucker. Oh fuck and, yeah, dude! And um, we are going to well, we're right next to him. So he's right next uh, to you. Uh, that's is that a bonus action? I don't think so. Um. Oh, I got mark a spell slot. Uh, do do. -do. I'll mark you. Yes, that stuff. is. Okay. I always keep forgetting these things are bonus sections. Um, I 
Is that a spell? Oh, it's a bonus action. Okay. Uh, I want to experiment. Uh, this, he, do I know trans are like, are, are they constructs? <laughs> Or are they? They are. They are not constructs. Um, okay. They are uh, just classified as huge plants. Okay, so adamantine dagger is not going to do me any good in this. Correct. It's not going to do okay. any more damage to a plant. Yeah. Right. Damn it! Because uh, he's, he's made of wood. All right. Um, yeah. I'm gonna <laughs> well, you know what part. really hurts wood. Uh, 17 uh, is a hit as Bookmark um, slams into the tree. Unfortunately, Brody, you realize something is that your piercing damage is not very effective against the wood as your dagger does half damage here. Um, but you do still get your favorite foe and your hunter mark. Perfect. Okay, so that's 4, 8, uh, 13 damage on the uh, tree ant here. Okay. Uh, yeah, I realize that that is not working. Um. Uh, ooh. Can I? I'm gonna offhand with my uh, poison short sword. Absolutely. Yeah. Nice. <clears throat> uh, 19 hits. Um. Let me check if the treant is resistant to poison. It is not. Ooh. So it is going to take half damage from the piercing, but full damage from the poison for nice. a total of 13 more damage. Hell yeah. Uh, okay. Whenever. Okay, no, this is whenever. Uh, Hunter's Mark. Yep, nice. Hunter's Mark will trigger again for sure. Sick. Fuck yeah, dude. Hell yeah, another six damage on that. All right, and uh, yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to be, um, oh, uh, sorry, forgot to mention, uh, bookmark is going to be jabbed at him and I'm st stuck to his side, like with my shit inside of him. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You're going to hang on. Yeah. 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 Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. All right. It is Zendala's turn. Um, she's going to, uh, back away and stand, um, behind the ruins here and she is going to oh man i don't think she's going to be able to get off a good fireball here no she's she's just she can't not hit any allies with this maybe she um, should try being an evoker instead of a I'm um, sorry, real quick. Uh, can anyone hear this fan in the background or no? Nope. Barely. No, no. You, you sound great, dude. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you. You're good. Um, all right. Not not being able to fireball, uh, Zendala is going to... Well, she can fireball and hit the four right there. No. she. Uh, no matter how she angles it, she's going to hit either uh, Brody or Tooth. What? Or sorry, either Chucky mean? or Tooth. The fireball's only a ten foot radius, is it not? It's a twenty foot no, radius. It's a twenty foot. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I'll fucking. I mean, she can do it to here and hit two of them, but she doesn't feel like that's worth it. Nah, fuck I it. Just, hit the tree. Hit Chucky. Hit Chucky. She'll get Ooh, like can... six of them. Wow. Jesus. No. Um. She. She's not gonna do it. Um. But she is gonna cast chromatic orb, choosing fire. Um, and she's going to attack the tree ant with that. Um, why don't, why don't uh, you have her? Hit. She could disengage and hit five of them. What? And the tree ant. She cannot. She cannot do that. Why? Is she rooted down? She doesn't want to hit any of her allies. That's no, why. I, I, I know what I'm saying is if she <laughs> just goes who over cares? here, if she goes over here. <laughs> She could fireball right here. Oh, right and here. hit Tooth. What? Isn't that her right there? No, this is Tooth right here. Oh, never mind. No, she can hit me. It's fine. Zendala's over here. Uh, she already oh, my made camera actually froze She already time. made her decision. She's going to Chromatic Orb, hit the Treant for 19 fire damage, which is doubled 
to uh, 38 fire damage. Oh, hell yeah. And that is her turn. It is River Mist's turn, who's going to run up to one of the veggie pygmies and uh, attack here. Okay, one hit, pretty good. Slashing is good against these guys. Do some good damage here. Um, and it is the veggie pygmies' turn. The Vegemites. The Vegemites. I come from the land down under. <laughs> but up, but. Should have bit thunder. <laughs> All right, here come the veggie pygmies. Two attacks at tooth. Uh, two hits on tooth here for thirteen damage. Wow. Two attacks. Uh, you should have raged tooth. Uh, two attacks coming at. Uh, Chucky? Does the 14 hit you, Chucky? Uh, no, not because I have... The, I'm not up to... Thanks. Did you get Sorry. any of that? Sorry, you cut out there. What was that? Um, I was gonna say the frog missed... The frog mantle increased my armor by one. So now I'm at 15. Yes, you are at 15 now. Absolutely. Um, the 24 does hit you, though, for 8 total. Yeah, can I? That's a critical, right? That is a critical. Oh, well, it's only 8 damage. That's fine. Okay. Um, and the... Attack at River hits the attack at Zendala misses the, the this attack's coming at Z. Uh, that's another crit for ten at Z. All right, if everyone's got that, it is going to be Z's turn. Hmm. Um. I'm gonna reach into my uh, infinite bag of baggery, and uh, I'm gonna douse the treant in front of me in oil, and then I'm gonna cast firebolt. Dang. All right. Yeah. I'll I'll let you use your bonus action for the oil. Um, since he's right in front of you and so big, I won't have you throw it. Um, I, you're able to just hit him pretty easily there. Um, and holy shit. So 17 hits. So this is going to be seven fire damage. He's vulnerable. So that's going to be double. He's also doused in oil. So that's going to be double again. Oh my god. For uh, 21 fire damage on the uh, uh, Treant here. Uh, this dude is absolutely getting fucked up. <laughs> He's getting baked. And not in a good way. And not in a good way. Oh, JPEG, your camera froze. You look so pensive. Uh, you look so okay. pensive with your half cameras horn. Keep, cameras keep freezing. Yeah, mine yeah, actually know, froze just a little bit ago. Yeah. Um, Z, do you want to do anything else with your turn, buddy? I don't have anything I can do bonus actions with, unfortunately. Yeah, we'll have to change that. We'll have to give you something to do with your bonus action. Yeah. Uh, right. Tooth, it's, it's your turn, man. Okay. Prince Mug, forgive me. For I am calling upon the power of the ancestors! Rawr! I'm gonna rage. You hear Mug go, Oh, hey, holy shit, man, it's not that serious. <laughs> <laughs> so when I do rage, uh, spectral warriors, three of them, surround me. Holy yep, you, you guys see a bunch of spiritual tabaxi warriors appear. Oh, All right. My. Uh, so first, 
first two hits are going to go into the one that's right here. And that's going to be one with scimitar, one with dagger. So the dagger hits for fire damage. Uh, oh, I, I'm i enraged as well. So that should actually be more damage. You're, you're still DMing those straight to me, just so you know. I don't know why it's doing. Oh, it's That's... because you put the you put my token on the map. I need to put I need to put my token on the map. You put that token. there. Uh, that shouldn't matter. I don't know why it's deeming them to you. Uh, it's because the it's because the switch was clicked to to GM. I I just oh. clicked it to public, so you should be good okay. now. Yeah. Um. Uh, but it's fine. Um. I do have a bonus to damage. The, the when sixteen I'm hits from the dagger. The scimitar is gonna miss. Okay. Um. And uh, for for your ancestral tabaxi warriors. The first mm -hmm. creature you attack, um, uh, until your next turn, that creature has disadvantage on attack rolls that any uh, for anything that isn't you. Cool. Uh, so that was the first two, and then I'm gonna do the third one on this guy right here, and that's gonna be with the dagger. Uh oh, this guy actually dies. Uh, go ahead and roll the other attack. From from just the first hit? Okay. Uh, yeah, the dagger with 12 fire damage, that actually uh, kills... Plus uh, my rage guy. damage. Don't forget yeah. that. Yep, so 14. There we go. The there we go. Uh, <clears throat> and tooth, that is enough to kill the other guy. And then, uh, still in my rage, I'm going to charge at the end... And okay, I think hell yeah. I can't well, use any other actions. Can I? Let me see what actions are. Just, it's a bonus action, right? No. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to. Let me see. Is that right? Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna action surge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it. And then I'm gonna do three attacks into the end. Two daggers and one skimitter. Jeez. Uh so you don't get your bonus action back, but you do get your action and your extra attack. So that would be two attacks, um so that would be a dagger and a scimitar. Okay. Um. Oh, unfortunately, fourteens are gonna miss on the tree ant. Mm, okay. Anything else for us, tooth? Actually, yeah, I would like to do something. Hang on. Uh, I'm gonna do because I really want to hit this goddamn tree because he threatened my grung friend. On that first attack, I'm gonna roll a uh, relentless attack. Or reckless attack. Which gives me okay. advantage, but then I take disadvantage anytime somebody tries to hit me. Yep. Or, I mean, they have advantage whenever they hit me. Okay. Alright, that's a hit. So, yeah, okay. just the first this is the first attack. Damage. And it's fire damage. So it's nine it's uh seven piercing plus two rage. So yep. nine total. Got it. Hell yeah. <clears throat> Poor little All right. Boy. I think that's it for tooth. Uh, I'm freaking this grung along up. the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, he's just wrapped sword. around your neck, just like, oh my God, shit. <laughs> I point my sword over at the trant, and I sell in the name of Okto. End this madness! He looks at you and says, No, Ubtau. Only kill Grung. 
Oh, oh. wow. <laughs> I'm going to attack... I'm going to attack the guy to the right of me with my nature's fury or jungle's wrath. All right. Hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, 15. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, well, there we go. Uh, 15 hits. Nice. And uh, this guy is not down, though. Your piercing damage is not as effective as you would like it to be. Dang. That's okay. Um, everyone's okay on health. Oh. That's right. Who's up next in the tournament? Nice. I'll give one of my Bark Inspiration dies. To uh, Brody. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. All right, it. hell yeah. Anything else, Chucky? Uh, nope, but you can add a D. Yeah, so for your next attack, you can add 1d6. Huh? You keep your mic. Your, your mic's cutting out pretty hard. Oh, sorry. I said, uh, yeah, you'll be able to add 1d8 on your on your attack roll. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna destroy this tree ant. If uh, hell yeah. If... All right. Well, speaking of, it is the tree ant's turn. <clears throat> And it is going to uh, try to get you off of it, uh, Brody. It's going to try and it's going to reach down with one of its branches and try to slam you. Um, oof. 24 for 17 damage. Okay. Yeah, that hits me for for uh, a lot. Wait, do we have temporary hit points? I think we had eleven. Oh shit! Oh yeah, yeah, we. Did. Yeah, no, you you did. Yeah, you guys had eleven temporary hit points. Okay, so I just take uh, six. Uh, yeah, uh, so I'm at seventy six. And the uh, the tree ant's gonna look down and see that you're still there, and it's gonna try and hit you again. Oh, that's exactly Ooh, the number he 16. needed. 16. All right, that's another 12. All right, 64. Will you still hug me? Will you still love me? When I'm, <laughs> when I'm 64. <laughs> uh, you guys hear another rumbling in the earth, another cracking sound, as another tree next to you seems to come to sentience and uh, start walking towards you guys. And it's going to get to here. Uh, and this guy is going to pick up a piece of rubble off of the ground and it's going to throw it at Tooth. Ooh, I think that's a miss. 12. He fucking yeah. wishes he could hit me. Uh, dude, he fucking he rolled a two on that attack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, the uh, the piece of rubble, you hear a whipping sound, Tooth, as that that rock just shoots over your head. Um, and Brody, it's your turn. All right, so uh, how fucked up is this tree in? It's looking very fucked up. It is, on, it is mostly on fire, mm -hmm. and its eyes are just, like, drooping really heavily. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Wait, wait. Hold on. Uh, magically delicious. delicious. Magically delicious. Oh, like, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, that doesn't even. Uh, are magically delicious. That doesn't even cost me a spell slot. That I doesn't just make any her, sense. I could just play her warrior. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, so I, was a, 
as a bonus action, I'm a planar warrior. I, this guy is going down, dude. I'm just going to um, poison short sword. That's a hit. On his side, and I get the uh, planar warrior, the hunter's mark, and the favorite foe. So that's... And a, one d and a roll, four, and a... 11, 16... And a 1d8. <coughs> 22... That was the planar warrior, right? Uh, yeah. It's all force yeah, you, damage. Uh, you already rolled the planar warrior. Yes, I did. So, 5... 18... 28... 34... 39 damage on this and the guy. And the 1d8 is from, uh, from Chucky. Uh, that goes that goes to the roll, not the damage. Oh, oh, never mind. So okay. you you can hold on to that, and in case you need it. Okay. Uh, um, holy fuck, dude! Thirty nine damage. Uh, this tree ant is not dead, but you see him just like swaying back and forth. His eyes have like rolled into the back of his head. It's like, he's not even there anymore. Oh, uh, this rant is like almost dead. Sorry. Well, he should be dead though. On his turn, he would have taken fire damage, right? And when poison? he grabbed, when he grabbed, uh, um, I almost wanted to call him Boromir. When he, when he grabbed, Boromir. Uh, when he grabbed Brody, um, on his turn, he should have done a, at the beginning of his turn, take fire. He is fire. on fire. Uh, you are correct. Another sick fire damage. He's still alive. Does he take poison damage too? Is that accumulative? Or... Uh, no, no. He's not taking any extra poison damage. Oh, then, then take another. Just the damage from what he got. Uh, that is enough, Brody, to take down oh. this tree creature. Okay. This guy is absolutely dead. Okay, sick. Yeah, okay, yeah. I, uh, I fucking take him down. And, uh, can I, can I ride him up to this guy? Yeah, yeah. As he falls? <laughs> yeah, why, why not? Uh, well, you know what? I, I, I have... I have the movement. Uh, I just want it to. I just want it to look sick. So I'm yeah. gonna ride on his back and grow. <laughs> yeah, that's where I'm gonna be. And All that's right. Hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, right it is Zendala's turn. Uh, she's got this guy right next to her. She's gonna try and firebolt him. Ooh, 11 is going to miss, though. Uh, a river missed. Oh, yeah. River mist is going to take down the veggie pygmy in front of him. And he's going to run up to back up Chucky. And it is the Veggie Pygmy's turn. Uh, this attack's coming <clears throat> at Zendala. That hits. Uh, these two attacks are both coming at you, Chucky. Two misses. Uh, and this attack's coming at Z. <clears throat> Uh, 17 to hit for 7 damage. That does hit. You want to take 7 damage there? And speaking of, Z, it is your turn. Okay. Uh, I see that Chucky goes after me. All right. Um, yep. 
I think I want to hold an action. Because I kind of want Chucky to move out of the way. If I can, I'm surrounded. He's surrounded by assholes. Uh, oh, the little grung wiener's there now, too. Uh, that grung wiener is river mist, bud. <laughs> wiener. Um... Yeah, we all are just all the way around that tree. How come you uh, explosion magic? I was. I was gonna go all Konosuba. Konosuba. I hate that show. Why do you like it? Um. Hate this family. <laughs> uh, so, so. Oh God damn it! My camera's frozen again. You look, bro. So many gifable moments. You look God. extremely uninterested. Damn it. Um. Okay. I think I'm just gonna fireball. Fireball. I was going to twin spell it, but there's too many people in the way. I, I can't do it without doing massive damage to somebody. Wait, what? Shoot behind the ant. Are you trying to I'm get more bodies? I am going to shoot behind the ant, but I wanted to get the little ones too, but um, everyone's intermingled. Are they? Yes, sir. Uh, I don't see. Yeah. You can get the Ent and one of the Veggie Pygmies, but you can't get both of them. And there's no point in casting it if I can't get both. Is there a way to All right, what do you want to do, Z? Oh, I already said I'm going to fireball, but... Oh, okay. Uh, it's not... I think I just have to add it to my list of spells and just remember that it's not a part of the spells themselves. Yeah, that's fine. You, you can add it to your list. It's all good. Okay, and I'll just do that just for ease. Because there's no easy way for me to to do it, trigger it without going through the whole shenanigans, you know? Yeah. Ooh. Now that's a lot of damage. Now Ooh. that's a lot of damage. All right. Yeah, there, there was a... Uh, mm. We used to travel with somebody who knew what to do in this situation. Do you remember what his name is? John Cena! Fuck you, got me! Got me! <laughs> and his name is John Cena! <laughs> you paid for the whole speed, but you're only gonna need the edge! <laughs> God damn it. He fucking, he fucking pops out from the inn's like bark. Are you sure about that? No, this sure? Sunday's hell in a cell. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, Z, you did massive damage to the tree ant. You killed a veggie pygmy. Anything else you want to do? He's just big chilling. He's just, he's just enjoying the life of being someone who cast spells from within. <laughs> hell yeah. You He's just vibing hella hard. Son of a bitch. If I hear you complain one more time about not having enough action economy when you're a fucking 8th level sorcerer, you get the fuck out of my chat, bro. Oh, called uh, out. Well, I could hit you instead if you want. Mods, ban this man. Alright, oh, Tooth, it's your turn. Send him to the penis explosion <laughs> chamber. 
Uh, I'm going to activate the tattoo of a bear. Or a boar. Of a boar. Uh, as a bonus action, I can activate this ability to charge attack. If you move at least 20 feet in a straight line and take the attack uh, action with a melee weapon, it'll deal an additional 1d8. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. I, I'm yeah, I, I think, yeah, absolutely. Um, you guys see um, Tooth's tattoo flare to life as an image of a boar um, appears over him as Tooth runs in a straight line at this uh, tree ant. Um, and and uh, out of game, um, you guys have seen tattoo magic before. I will remind you in Rhyme of the Lexicon, Mason underwent yeah. some tattoo magic to get those uh, special abilities. All right, so we're going to do reckless attack on the first attack. That way, okay. and then Ancestral uh, Guardian is also going to lock on to him. Absolutely. Did I do both? Yep, yep, that is one critical failure, but one hit. All right, and that's the dagger is fire damage, by the way. Absolutely. Uh, and then my next <clears throat> two attacks are just regular. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> and go ahead and roll that extra d8 for the uh, damage. Oh, that's right, that's right. That's right. <coughs> for the chat. Do for I was going to say... I thought you were going to say, uh, roll that extra d8 for the... Oh, and add on two damage for everyone that hit. That's 18, 20, 7, 27, 29 damage on the tree ant. Fuck yeah. All right. Anything else for Tooth? <laughs> no, I'm... I, unlike my companion over here, am content with doing enough. Mm -hmm. Ooh, called out. All right, Charles Kentucky, your turn. Right. Be all this brouhaha going. I'm going to attempt to make another swing at this guy next. Uh, Kachop. Chow. 13 is going to hit. And this uh, guy goes down. Ha <laughs> Noise. Noise. Mm -hmm. um. If you have a bonus action, you can throw some heals my way. Okay, you need a heal? Yeah. Yeah, I'll throw a healing word your way. Uh, how much health do you need? A billion. Uh. Any anything you can give me right now, bud. I mean, I can cast it at level one, two, or cast it at level a billion. <laughs> like how how much how much health have you lost? Uh, twenty eight. Okay, I'll cast it at level three. Baba Booey, say... that's Baba ten Booey. healing. Baba. A buoy. Oh, Baba Booey. Give it to me 10 right. HP and I'll pass. All they right. got a fever. Baba Booey. And the only Baba. prescription, prescription is more, more Baba, Baba Booey. There's more Baba Booey. Uh, Brody, you're up. <laughs> yeah. When I'm done with you fellas, you be walking around the streets and go yeah, diapers. Just like everybody else. I put my pants on one leg at a time. Okay. <laughs> as a bonus action, I'm going to uh, move my hunter's mark over to the guy next to me. Absolutely. And, and uh, let's uh, do that poison Schwartz wood. On this Ooh, guy. that's going to be a miss. Oh, uh, D8. I can, oh, yeah. you can use the Bardic Inspiration, yeah. Yeah, why, might as well. Yeah, Treat yourself. Oh, and that, that's a hit. Oh, sick. And that yeah. is four plus six. Uh, yeah, even without his mark, this guy goes down. Hell yeah. In an nice. earlier round? 
going down, down in an early, in an early room. round. Then he would go down straight. Um, yeah, I could get, I could get right up on this mofo. You sure can. Get right up on that mofo. I'm gonna go with Dion, Dion. Uh, let's go. Yeah, let's go here. That's safer. Um, and let's. You still uh... have your extra attack, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, let's hit this dude. Uh. Oh, I don't know if that 14 hits. is going to miss. Damn. All right. Oh, I can't hear it. Sorry. And that's it for me. All right. Zendala. The enemies are dwindling down. Zendala's just going to shoot a firebolt at the treant. Uh, that hits. And didn't roll damage for some reason. Cool. <laughs> Check it. You have a look a man in the eye and just baba his buoy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just... All right. More damage on the treant. I babbled a lot of buoy. Okay. <laughs> River mist. <laughs> I've bobbled a lot of buoys in my time. Son, if you're anything like your old man, you'd know <laughs> when to bob and, and when to buoy. And when to <laughs> buoy? And I gotta say, I've done a lot oh, of bobbas. Oh, shit. River <laughs> Mist uh, kills this veggie pygmy up there. That is it for the veggie pygmies. Uh, Z, it is your turn. There's one enemy remaining. Uh, so anyways, started blasting. One second, I gotta move some stuff out of the way to put this pizza down. Pizza's forbidden. Pizza's for people who don't baba booey. I don't eat the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do Christopher Walken. So I says to the guy, I says, you're going to eat that pizza. Or are you going to bob a buoy? <laughs> the hell out of my joint. Yeah, I, get a, uh, I guess a we'll slice. just fireball again. <laughs> At least give me a slice. Give me a slice or you're gonna split. Which one is it? Ooh, another 30 damage. Good rolls from uh, Z here. And that is a absolute failure from the Treant taking th not 30, but 60 fire damage. And Z, I hate to break it to you, but 60 damage is enough to kill this Treant. Oh my god. God. 60 fucking damage. And, but wait, um, he needs to do more with this turn. Come on, more. where's your bonus action, Z? Where's your bonus do action? Something else, man. I gotta do something else. I'm gonna feel weak <laughs> in front of this new uh, Grungalaxi or whatever they call him. You guys are out of combat. Congratulations. Did nice. in the burning charred remains of each of the, you know, things, did any of them leave behind anything? Um, no. More charred remains. <laughs> they did not. <laughs> okay. They left behind a dissatisfied, uh... What do you call Tell it? my seedlings I love them! They they left behind a Foo Fighters Ooh. CD. Foo Fighters! <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen! The Foo Fighters! The Foo Fighters! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen! The Foo <laughs> Fighters! <laughs> It's sad that uh, that guy died. But the big ones left behind the offspring album, which is a little cooler. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, actually, Foo Fighters are cooler. Yeah. Uh, what am I talking about? <laughs> yeah, Smashing Foo Fighters Pumpkins album. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. All yeah. right. Um, after the battle with the stick people and the trees, um, uh, you guys follow Prince Mug's directions to a... Um, sunken um, uh, outcrop of buildings. And as you guys approach, you guys see a bunch of Grung 
hop out on the roof with their little bow and arrows and they're like, halt or we'll shoot. And uh, Prince Mug is like, hail compatriots. It is I, Prince Mug, with my new friends, the Dead Ringers. Um, and they but all, they all know who we already are, though, right? Pull their weapons back. They do not. But how Bro, these... our, our legend has not met any ear in Omu. Uh, these Grung in the Forbidden City of Omu do not know uh, who you guys are. Hmm. Um, but Prince Mug leads you into the uh, ante room where a, uh, a fat frog is sitting on a, a uh, throne. Um, and that throne is just a stool, like a nice stool that's been taken out of like a house and like set up in this little abandoned uh, little ruined area. And the king goes, the king goes, oh, my son, Prince Mug, you're back. What happened? And uh, Prince Mug is like, oh, they saved me, the stick people. Um, and the king goes, um, oh, well, whatever pleasantries I can give you, dead ringers, are yours. Thank you for saving my son. <laughs> Jeez, why does he well, so the, What if he had a plot to hand the well son met, over to king. the stick people? Oh, the... thank you. Well met, dead ringers. The Dead Ringers and I, Tooth, uh, of Clan Bent River, uh, would humbly accept a key, a very certain key, which is oh, I maybe see. In you're your not you're you're not a part of the Dead Ringers. That's fine. Um, <laughs> well, a key, you say? Well, I do have this key that was handed down by generations of frog people. Um, uh, legend has it that some maidens gave it to us to protect. Honestly, I don't give a shit. Um, I like and this guy. He, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he pulls out of his bag a um a steel key with a skull on the back, and he just tosses it over to you guys. And um, you see the prince hop down off your shoulders, tooth, and run up to the king. And he goes, uh, oh, my little boy. <laughs> and they kind of hug and kiss each other on the cheek. And he goes. <laughs> he goes it just sounds so grotesque. <laughs> he goes. If a key is all it takes to get my little boy back. It's all good. Thank you, Dead Ringers. Uh, one well, last uh, question. Just a just a small question, if you may entertain us with such, Great King. Do you happen to know where the temple or the old temple of Ubtau is within the city? Oh, the temple. Why, it's just to the north of here. If you've seen the amphitheater, just go a little bit further to the north, past the fountain, and you should find the entrance to the temple. It's a bit overgrown with vines and such, but you should find it. Thank you, our king. Uh, the Dead Ringers and I are... As always, ever in your service. I yes, mean, we get weird. it. You're not a part of the dead ringers. Mm. No, they are great. I am not. Uh, oh, wow. We shall take our leave. Mm. Thank you, great king. Uh, and you just see him go, my boy. And they're just like hugging and kissing each other. It gets a little <laughs> weird. Um, Is your dad on the mouth there? <laughs> Yeah, uh, he's the Tom Brady of of uh, Frog Oof. Kings. Wow. <laughs> well, we got the <laughs> keys. <clears throat> Oof, that that is a lot. <laughs> hey, do you, uh, do y'all do you frog guys know what's inside the temple? Uh, the king says um, that the uh, Grung were never allowed uh, inside the temple. 
Um, he's only seen a bunch of workers go in and never come out. And they were all wearing these ornate uh, bronze masks on their heads. Interesting. Well, I'll just fill up my boots and I think we're ready to head off. <laughs> with non-bloody water? Yeah. Oh, with regular water. <laughs> but this time, this, it comes in regular. This weird, it comes in technicolor. What's with all this clear blood? <laughs> <laughs> What's the deal? Yeah, I, my character is like does not want to be there any longer because of how awkward the, the relationship between the father and the son is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we get it. Yeah, definitely. We don't want to be here either. Let's get out of here. Let's go meet back up with our friends over by the palace. Yes. Um, there are, uh, you, you have everyone with you. You have, yeah, I was about to say, uh, everybody else. You have Zendala else... and River Mist. Oh, I thought the dwarves were there. Okay. There uh, they, okay. they packed up with, uh, Tinder in August. Gotcha. Okay, that's fine. I'd say let's go back, find that secret door and plug these keys in there. Yeah. All right. That's what we're doing. You guys head north. I keep looking at Chucky and Brody for some sort of like affirmation. Uh, yeah, I was I was gonna I was gonna chime in here for a minute. I, I was gonna say like, uh, so uh, tooth man, uh, you know, <laughs> yes, you don't have to you don't have to take all of that crap. You can you you can. You can say something about that. It's it's okay. I mean, what do you mean? I, I mean, am not uh, a dead ringer. You are legendary. I am just a patron of the forest, the jungle. Listen, you ever heard that phrase? Never meet your heroes. <laughs> no, I have not. I strive well, to meet my ancestors one day. There's a phrase. Well, maybe your ancestors. That, that I'll I'll give you a little charitability there. There's a phrase, never meet your heroes, right? Uh, that's, that's pretty true in the sense that they're not all that they're cracked up to be in your mind. We're, we're, we're kind of unorthodox in our <laughs> methods so far, and uh, it's gotten us, you know, we killed, uh, we killed pretty much everyone we needed to, right? So what I'm trying to say is, De facto, right now, you could just say you're a dead ringer. It's fine. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, no. I have not <laughs> earned that stripe as I've earned uh, my tattoos. Buddy. It, my friend, you have been pretty strong so far. You've been clobbering. Well, I'd say if you're not a dead ringer yet. You're well on your way to becoming an well, honorary member. I've thank seen you. you crush my honorary things. member. There you go. Yeah. Zendala, thank you. I mean... To be Zendala. fair, I haven't I haven't tried to kill them yet, like Zendala, has, or get yeah. them killed, or lied to us like Zendala. Has. Well, to be fair, also, uh, we barely know who or what this guy is. <laughs> Point to Z. I was like, what? <laughs> Look, I I care not for titles, only that your title remains intact, which is that of the legendary Dead Ringer. Then you do care for titles. No, I care that your title remains intact. Do not Whether... argue with the blob man. <laughs> <laughs> but you see, Brody, you are incorrect in stating never to meet your heroes, for I have met you all, and I have not <laughs> been disappointed at, at any point. In fact, oh, you continue to, sh to inspire me to this very second. I strive uh... for nothing short of your greatness. Oh, uh, no, my greatness, my greatness. <laughs> Jesus, I'm gonna. What am I gonna do with you? <laughs> he's uh, he's very plucky in the presence of you guys. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, well, I appreciate that. I I just ah uh, okay. Well, either way, you don't have to take crap from people if they insult you about not being one of us or not part of the party. Where you you, you just just talk to. I encourage you. 
stick up for yourself in these situations. Uh, we of Clan Bent River, we don't really do too well in social sophistications as I see that the culture and have it. <laughs> we believe that status, much like our ancestors, is deserved and earned. But at the same token, it is not what makes the tabaxi, is what my grandparents were often fond of saying. The tabaxi are what make the title. The warrior is the warrior not because he chooses to call himself such, but because he bleeds and sweats being a warrior. Alright, All right. fair enough. That's hey, thank stuff. you Neon Swamp for the raid. Hey, seven. thank you. Thank you, thank you. And thus, I will not ever call myself a dead ringer unless I have blood and sweat with the dead ringers. And I have not done so. Not nearly. I pull out a knife. <clears throat> oh, God. <laughs> like, you're ready oh, to bleed. <laughs> no, that's... No, that is the... That is the uh, doings of the tribe of ritualistic cannibalist cousins that I have had. Ritualistic cannibalist cousins. Ritualistic cannibalism?! Ritualistic, ritualistic cannibalism. cannibalism. Why does it all come back to ritualistic cannibalism? It all makes sense. It all makes sense now. What we need to do now? Find the door, right? Yeah, so door. you guys head north, uh, past the amphitheater, past a fountain, to a sheer um, rock uh, outcrop. Um, but you guys find some uh, vines that seem to be blocking a cave heading inside. Um, and as you do, uh, pulling aside the heavy undergrowth, you uncover an archway in the cliff face. You see stone skulls peering down from the lintel, and old bones litter the threshold. Uh, as light strikes the entrance, you guys see a swarm of bats screech and fly out from within. And you guys see um, a huge stone door. Um, just a giant slab of worked stone. Um, you guys see grinning skulls marking the edges of this door. And in the center are three big keyholes. Ooh. Okay. So I'm going to take a key and uh, just stick stick one in. Fuck yeah. Hey, Neon Swamp. 019, oh, how's it going? Hello, hello. Hello. <clears throat> Thanks um, for joining us. So you're going to pull uh, the three keys <clears throat> out, Brody, and stick them in? Yeah. yeah. I'll try to. All right. Uh, Fuck yeah, dude. You stick the keys in and give them a twist and you hear this mechanized stone on stone grating sound as the stonework shifts away from you and opens up another room in front of you. And I would like to welcome you all to the Tomb of Annihilation. Oh! Hell yeah. Let's... Gold. They, he said it. He said <laughs> it. <laughs> oh, he said it. He said, he said the thing. The thing. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Is this a good place to uh, call it? Yeah, we'll um, we'll we'll go a little bit further, but we will we will wrap up uh, soon here. Okay. Um. So. You guys see those doors uh, uh, rip open, and you see another slab blocking the hallway about 20 feet beyond, and you see an iron lever is set into the door's surface with a graven stone skull leering down from above. Yeah, that's it? That That is all that is within this hallway, just... Stone stone walls, that stone door in front of you with the skull and the lever. Oh, jeez. Interesting. Looks Just like, like home. It's a trap? <laughs> we don't even... We just got here. 
Uh, Damn, I mean, was that <laughs> was that August for a second? Were, were you channeling your inner August? <laughs> it's a tomb of annihilation, not tomb of hey, my happy place. Do we know what it's called? Well, the, the, the God just told us. God just told us. So. <laughs> Who are you talking to? I think I'm really concerned about you. Uh, <laughs> guy loses uh, one. The guy loses one friend and he falls to shit. Yeah. It's all. It's all gone to hell. I just lose one friend. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> You know how many friends died in the past? Good. Uh, now you know how August felt. Yeah. And now we yeah. lost August. Well, I guess you're right. Time to check for traps. I guess. I don't know. If only I had a marble, I could roll across the floor. <laughs> hmm, I think I may have heard this one before. <laughs> Uh, hang what on, I've, I might, I might have some stuff to do here. Give me one second. In the meantime, I'm a thousand percent going to interrogate you, Joe. What? Yeah. About about this August departure. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> what what the hell, man? What's going on with that? Uh, what the hell, man? Sometimes you sometimes you really have to kind of step back and realize, like, is it worth having all this build up just fall flat on the floor dead? What? You'll find out when we're later on in the dungeon. Okay, okay. all right. Well, we can talk about this in the wrap up. Um, yeah, I'm looking yeah, to yeah, see. Yeah. I have. What are you doing? Uh, I have this nice little background uh, archaeologist that I was trying to see if I can use <clears throat> some of my stuff, like dust digger. But I don't think. Yeah, I don't think it has anything to do with it. No, uh, I do have Danger Sense, so I guess I'm going to attempt to... Ba -ba -bum. Uh, check for traps over at the lever. I'll be the first to do it, since they're talking about it. Like, that's bait. I'm going to be like, okay. Okay, so you're going you're gonna to walk forward? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So as Tooth walks forward, you guys see the uh, entrance behind you guys um, seal shut as a pair of uh, stone doors unseen close the way behind you. Oh, so it just... Oh, okay, right there. All right. And tooth you see out of the uh so there's this big skull on the door with a lever coming out of its mouth mm -hmm. and out of the mouth a tiny little skeletal hand pops out and you see it's an hourglass filled with sand oh, and God. then it flips the hourglass upside down very cool very Ten. cool Nine. What is the door's composition? Uh, the door is completely made out of stone. It seems to be seamed in with the wall, the floor, and the ceiling. And just has the skull with the lever and the hourglass coming out. Eight. Can I is the lever... Spell? Can I pull the lever? Yeah, you can do whatever you want. Chucky, I'm do you want to cast the a spell? Lever. Yeah, I want to cast knock. On the door? Oh. Yeah. Um, go ahead and mark off a spell slot. Your knock spell goes off, and it does nothing. Damn, okay. 
Seven. Uh, I'm gonna pull the lever. Uh, August, you're gonna pull the lever. Not August. Or uh, sorry, uh, Tooth, you're gonna pull the lever. Yeah. Okay. Tooth runs forward and yanks the lever down. And you guys feel, all six of you feel the floor fall out from beneath you. What? And we will pick this up next time uh, on Tomb of uh, Annihil Lexicon. Uh, yeah. Damn. Thank you, everyone, for joining us so far. We're going to go to the wrap-up uh, stage here. Brandon, if you want to hit us what? to the next scene. The fuck, man. I can't believe uh, you, got the, you got me on the. You got me on the... The hedge of my seat. Not the edge, but the hedge. <laughs> the hedge. You got me on the hedge of the seat, brother. Uh, you guys probably feel kind of shorted on the August departure, don't you? A little bit. A little bit. Yeah, I don't understand why August left. So, it was kind of like a mini oh, arc. Why don't you let him know? It was. I felt like this was a mini arc within a greater arc, and I felt like having August go through what he went through with Tinder, recruiting her by the luck of a critical success, mm -hmm. and then her coming full circle with Rosna C, and him realizing that he couldn't lose her, and he didn't want to risk losing her and then on the flip side of that he was like well wait a minute what if august is lost to the dungeon you know he felt like that would just shit on all the progress and i felt like as a player it would shit on all the progress that it has happened with this character That's and so true. i was like in the interest of preserving that part of the legacy i was like i really don't think i think august as a character is great in combat he's a tactically sound mind but I think in dungeon delving and dungeon crawling mm -hmm. itself, he's not as useful. I think he's more of like above board kind of care okay. where he's meant for like the bigger battles and the more like, you know, because this is a true blue dungeon crawl. And I just don't think that that character himself is kitted mm -hmm. out for that. I really don't. Um, I'm, we've seen going through the mines and the fire mines. I, August wasn't able to really shine outside of the big boss battle. And you take the other aspects away from that and you just have a half caster, half shooter. And that even then has its limits. So I was like, I need to fulfill the role outside of being the tactical mind. And I thought, why don't, since we already have a caster, since we already have a, a martial character and we already have a half caster slash half martial character. I might as well just become the tank for the party. But as far as like the justification, and I went back and forth with Matt, you can ask him about this. I had been, I myself had been personally struggling with it since the ending of the last session. And I was like, I felt like that part was, I was completely satisfied with just bookending it right there. Like mm -hmm. legit just yeah. saying, okay, he's done. Let's put him on the shelf for now. Let's use him mm -hmm. some other time. And I really think that that's going to service the greater part of the story. And I, Matt okay. sort of felt the same way from our conversations because he said it did make more sense to have a trusted member of the party on the other side of the port mm -hmm. to where... And that's that's actually what August was hinting at the last time whenever we were hatching the plan. He just didn't feel like sending in the entirety of the forces into into this one thing he felt like it would just leave a weakness on the other side and he yeah. rightfully so he was justified all right i mean uh yeah i so, just kind of felt like i was like damn all right did something happen was it us or was no no no, no. <laughs> it, i felt i felt like i was being selfish in trying to preserve my characters i'm pretty sure given the choice all of you guys would be like well fuck yeah i worked too hard on this but in the same sense, you guys' story, y'all's story, for the most part, is still kind of lingering. You still need to finish whatever parts of your arc. I felt like this mini arc for August, not only one, gave him purpose, he rediscovered his purpose. But also, I feel like the, the other stuff, like with his uncle and his stuff back home, that would be better suited for another campaign entirely, or a different adventure, mm -hmm. or something in the back end that Matt can play off of and be like, oh yeah, this is August's story. 
Okay. All right. Yeah, well, this will not be like, the last time we've seen or heard from August, um, especially if you guys make it out of this uh, dungeon, for sure. <laughs> yeah. I was going to well, say, it's funny that uh, you say all that, because I pretty much had the same conversation with Matt. I was like, man, we don't have a tank. I guess I could just roll a tank character. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Um, my character has 73 hit points. And then, of course, because he's a barbarian, he gets that damage resistance. Um, and then, you know, I have, I have, can put, I can output so much damage by being a barbarian slash fighter because that's what I wanted to, I wanted to suit that role where it was like, I could soak up the hits as well as output high numbers of damage and without having to expel too much, I could just sit there and just be your beat stick. You could always be my beat stick, Joe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> No, but, yeah. but I get it. Yeah. But the, the thing that's going to suck here is that my character has a 10 intelligence, which is average intelligence, but it's like I can no longer, because even in this situation, I wanted to think and act like August, and I wanted to like approach it you know, very differently, mm -hmm. but I was like, no, nope, can't do it. Mm -hmm. Well, Got you. just remember, I can always enhance abilities, too, to give you advantage on skill check. That yeah. Can your brain more. back, like the Scarecrow. But anyway, oh, I mean, yeah, what did you guys yeah. think? Did you guys think I I was afraid that you guys think we're going to think that I'm being hella selfish or that I'm trying to, no, you know. No, I, I, I was just confused. I thought, uh, to me, I don't know. I, I thought maybe you might have, we might have did something that pissed off August. No. Or... Yeah, no, 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 no. Like, it, honestly, you know, we had we had gone through your conflict resolution, Brody, yeah. for, you know, for mm -hmm. a little bit. Mm -hmm. And with Zer's thing, I feel like you know, August accepting Z just right off the bat kind of showed that he had trust in it. And then the only thing is, is that, and Dale, you were right in this, is that he left off with Chucky. He left a lot of shit off with Chucky. And I feel like I couldn't justify all of that interaction in our last speech. And that's why I've kind of planted the seed of like, be that person that always jumps first and then thinks mm -hmm. later. But yeah. Oh, another well, I, another great session. Like, man, yeah. really Definitely. good. You Absolutely. guys finding the keys, August's departure, dealing with the King of Feathers, dealing with the Grung. <laughs> the King of Feathers. I was not disappointed. I was like, I was like, man, this could be one of two ways. They could talk their way out of it, or they can fight their way out of it, and it went yeah. completely differently. <laughs> In well, both we, of I those expectations. Both. Yeah, exactly. I was like, uh, it was hilarious because it was like, what what would happen if August just was out of the equation and period? Oh, we found out. <laughs> yep. Things a little more wacky. <laughs> turns, to, turns to violence real quick. Well, I like oh, it. Yeah. I like it because um, we're not quite murder hobo, uh, you know, murder hobo -y, but we are sound enough to be like okay if there is a solution that doesn't involve fighting we could take that option but it doesn't last very long well the thing <laughs> is like it's like a crazy dinosaur you know <laughs> it was, he was a crazy absolutely dinosaur. What did you expect it's true to do? it's true <laughs> The, uh, oh, I really okay. did enjoy, Matt, uh, real quick, I really did enjoy the Rosna Sea stuff inside the mm. palace. I wish, mm. I honestly wish we could have taken more time to explore the further levels of the palace. Did they, did they have more content for us? No, no, that, that was everything. You guys, uh, um, you guys got everything. I, I would have let you know if there was, if there was more stuff to be explored. Um, it was really good, though. Like, honestly, had... Mm we had a little bit more time with it. I would have loved to have explored more of the Rosna Sea stuff with with the palace in general. Yeah, it's very interesting. I mean, you you caught on very quickly that um, his memories seem to have been altered. Um, him thinking that Rin was the one who raised the zombie army, thinking that he was the one who was doing the right thing, protecting the city, all this stuff. It's, um, yeah. Well, that's and again, then, that's part of August's genius is that he can correlate from those context clues. Oh, hey, this is what's really going on. Also, the fact that we talked to Ren 
And as a spirit, he told us everything in earnest. Mm -hmm. He didn't have any reason to lie to us. He was bound to the, he was bound to that part of that area. So he's just like, true. he told us everything that we needed to know. Yeah, and Rosnessy's feelings on the Raven Queen too, because uh, Zer was being told the whole time, uh, you know, go to Omu, join forces with Rosnessy, everything will be okay. Meanwhile, Rosnessy the whole time was planning on betraying the Raven Queen and betraying the champion and all that stuff. So, I did like that. I'm upset that that Z himself didn't have enough time to explore that and come for full circle on it. I feel like we did kind of short him a little bit on that. I think so. <clears throat> you don't think so? You don't think we gave you enough screen time on that? No. Nah. Mm, fair enough. We're going to have to uh, fix these layouts. Um, mm -hmm. We need to change Joe's to Tooth. Uh, the... Uh, Tabaxi Barbarian Fighter, and we need to change Zer to Z, the Changeling Sorcerer. Oh yeah. So we need to uh, fix that. these uh, fix these layouts a little bit. New team should be pretty cool. Absolutely, the final team going into the Tomb of Annihilation. The final uh, this, countdown. This is going to be the the you know ultimate cumulative test of everything that you guys have learned so far on this adventure um this tomb is no joke and one or more of you is probably going to die i suggest that everyone have a backup character just in case really is that hardcore holy shit bro he's been telling us that and that's actually what drove my decision to have august step away because again I just felt like I put in all this work and it would be kind of like a like a one of those things where it's like the alternate the shitty alternate ending that you get in movies where it's just like, oh, yeah, they just die. And you're just like, oh, OK, I guess I guess we spent all of this time and then <laughs> I would feel the same way for any of you guys if y'all just died in an encounter in the dungeon. Hey, man, the evil the uh, army of darkness alternate ending was was not that bad all right <laughs> <laughs> it's it's not going to be easy um i will say that going forward um cautiousness teamwork all that stuff is going to be very very important going into the tomb Okay. And that's just so not they, how the Dead Ringers do it around here, though. It is not, as evident <laughs> on the very first trap where someone pulled the lever <laughs> and sprung the floor out beneath you. So Pull that is the just lever, crunk. a small taste of um, of what is is going to happen no, but <laughs> further on into the temple. Who in the party has Featherfall? Because August had it, and I know somebody else did too. Oh yeah, I, I did. Too. But uh, I don't have the feathery one uh, anymore. Chucky but does. Yeah, I, I have mean, just uh, just Chucky now. does. Yeah, yeah, and then ZS. So fly. you can you can fly, and then as a reaction, Chucky can Chucky and up to five people can reduce falling speed. So yep, that is something to note for the next. Uh, beginning I mean, what movie. happens if I decide to just stay up there? That's a that's a Why good would question. you do that? Yeah, it's up to well, you, because man. Because if the if the wall opens up for uh, Maxi to Baxi, uh, I'll be right there with him, and then we'll. Well, no, everybody there. fell at the same time. Everybody was in the same room. Right, mm -hmm. but I, if I have fly, I don't necessarily have to go downward. Uh, the only thing with fly is that you have to cast it, and an action takes uh, it takes six seconds, um, whereas. Uh, Featherfall is a reaction, which happens instantly. So the only problem is, is you can't use fly as a reaction to something happening. You would have to, uh, you would have to have it cast on you already. Okay. It's like a enchantment versus an instant. No, I exactly. I get it. Oh, it just they're gonna I don't think you get it. I don't think you get it. Your face says you don't get it because it's he frozen. He gets it. 
Yeah. What weighs oh, more, a man. kilogram of feathers or a kilogram of steel? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> all right, y'all. Well, that's it for us. Um, thank you all for hanging out with us. Thank you. I don't um, get um, to the multiple raiders. Multiple people for the raids. Everyone for hanging out. Um, we'll be back in two weeks, uh, hopefully, for another episode of uh, Tomb of Annihilation Lexicon. Um, sporadically Hello. in between, we might try and do another episode of our uh, of our one shot campaign, which takes place about a hundred years before this one. The Dusty well, Cachino. The Dusty Cachino. Oh, <laughs> oh, and big shout out to everyone who's joined us who's new. Uh, give us a follow. Give us a uh, give us a, a squibble and a dibble and uh, a, absolutely a tweep, a tweep and an upvote. Uh, to you. Much appreciated. Yeah. Uh, we'll be here tomorrow with some EDH over the interwebs. Um, and as I said, we'll be back in a couple of weeks with more uh, D and D. Yeah. That's it, y'all. We out. Bye. Thank you, everybody. Peace, everybody. Bye. Bye. Have a beautiful Bye. time. Bye. Brandon, you're still frozen. <laughs> <laughs>